Is, is, is that how, how we start things, just randomly now? But anyway, hello, in I am the Great Wizard Malam, and we really need a collective names for ourselves. We really do. The peeps. We'll, we'll, we'll figure one out. Yeah, we'll figure one out. But anyway, um, as you have probably noticed, you know, we are doing, you know, doing a new system this week. So we are playing Werewolf the Apocalypse. Um, now, this system has been pretty new to all of us, apart from James. Hello. <laughs> um, who is going to be running our five-week sessions You know, for this for us? So this should be really interesting. We've done our character gen, so we've had in, uh, pretty much a little bit more than brief overview you know, of the system and how it works. Um, and yeah. So all that's left is for us to really get stuck in and figure out what's going on and how we're doing things. Uh, as you can tell, you know, the game is about werewolves. It's pretty self-explanatory there. And you know, there will be you know, be a Tulane. Oh, hello. <laughs> and why are you not showing up? But yes, so um, <coughs> what do you reckon? Should we go through a brief thing about our characters or should we just get stuck in and then we pretty much do all that in well uh, I'll go through the caveats first so um, for those of you that have never played a system like this before it's uh, based very much in the modern world set in 2018 so probably the most up to date and real world game system that we've played so far here um, Werewolf touches on dark themes that happen in the world and while it is set as close to the real world as possible, there is obviously a certain element of the fantastical about it. Because after all, we all know werewolves don't really exist. Lies. Or do they? <laughs> <laughs> they could do, they're just good at hiding. So, um, things that you uh, should be aware of. I've checked with uh -huh. all of the players as well. Yeah. And uh, we are good with a lot of the stuff that may potentially come up. But obviously <coughs> there will be darker elements to the storytelling system. So, for those of a nervous disposition, maybe you want to skip ahead in the YouTube videos later on. Other than that, I'm going to be the storyteller. The way the system works is we are all here to craft the story together, Ooh. whereas opposed to a lot of other systems which almost make it a competitive nature between the person that runs the game and the players that are within it. So, without further ado, I'm going to start off by letting each of the guys introduce their characters, tell you a bit about them, and yeah. where they're coming from. So, since it is his stream, we should probably let the Great Wizard go first. <gasps> and I just realised I need to get my dice out. Oh. Congratulations, you need dice. <laughs> but yes, so, my character's name is Alex Breton. <coughs> You know, um, he is you know pretty much your okay. you know normal Caucasian. You know, um, short oh, sure. brown hair. He has two, two different coloured yeah. eyes. Yeah, you know, that. one brown and one blue. There is a significance for that. Heterochromia for those who don't know what that's actually. Thank called. you. I couldn't remember what that was called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, should we get? Yeah. Um, um, is it going to be a brief overview of our backstory? Or should we go full into it? Uh, you reckon? I reckon maybe we'll keep the backstory for now and we'll do it in another session. You know, ah, okay. So if we just go with character descriptions. You know, ah, okay. So basic, yeah. Basically, I am you know um, a third, which in this uh, system means that I can basically talk with spirits and are more in tune, you know, with more of the spirit world and the worm, which is basically the evil part of the universe. So yeah, yeah. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, back, yeah. Backstory wise, there's not really what not much I can tell just yet because we'll get into that. Um, otherwise, that's mostly me. Apart from I, um, I said my character name. Mm -hmm. cool. um, oh yeah. So skills wise, um, I'm quite intelligent. You know, yeah. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> I have a lot of techie related <coughs> skills. I'm quite educated. You know, um, you know. I also have some, you know, some research into the occult and rituals and such. Um, not quite so good at the physical aspect of things, but you know, we'll see. Um, I can look after, you know, um, look after tame animals. I can drive. Um, I know a bit about et etiquette. That's pretty much, yeah. That's pretty much all of me. Okay. So and yeah. We pass on to Lizzie. I'm going to be playing Ember, or most commonly known to the world as Cammy. Um, I was a born wolf, 
so that's going to be fun. I know nothing about the real world that I'm living in, the human world that I'm living in, so that's going to be hilarious. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, fairly good with animals. Um, I'm good with puzzles and things like that. And I have a little brother. Okay, thank you very much. And on to Lucy. Can I go last? Okay. We'll skip Lucy and go to Tulane. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so totally Hurry up. I need to get my D10s out. That's what I was doing. I just need to have a look at my cliff notes. So apparently I'm a mountain. No, I haven't. <laughs> You're a mountain? So uh, I am Staff Sergeant Gabriel Adams. I'm 30 years old. I'm 5'11". I'm, th I'm a thin, wiry build with tan skin, brown hair and blue eyes. Um, I'm a decorated combat veteran um, and I currently work for the New York Police Department as a SWAT team leader and I have no idea about the world around me. Yeah, there they are. Okay, and if we go on to Cassus. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I was also born a wolf. I wasn't one of these strange uh, two-legged skin human folk. Humans! Um, uh, my wolf is called Flies Without Fear, but the strange homid human name that I use is Grey, because I'm a grey wolf and I don't understand naming conventions. Um, so I am what's known as an Arun, which is your very stereotypical full moon werewolf. Um, I'm all about all the physical aspects of things. I'm, you know, a hunter, typical pack wolf. I don't understand human strange uh, metal movement boxes or your strange um, metal pokey food things so oh. yeah this is going to be interesting for me forks <laughs> strange metal food pokey things <laughs> a phoenix I thought <laughs> yeah, I, I still, I still kind of live in a forest with other wolves so I, I still really am not very <coughs> clued up on this whole humans thing and last, but by no means least, Lucy. Um, my character is called Jasmine. I'm a homid, which means I'm a human werewolf. I'm playing a judge in both werewolf and human society. Excellent. Right, so to set the scene of where we currently are, I've already spoken to them beforehand and they've come up with their own reasons why they are currently here. But we're starting off in a dark, dingy, decrepit looking warehouse. There's no windows, there's a ham radio in the corner playing tinny music occasionally as it phases in and out of its uh, cycles. There's a couple of abandoned tyres on the floor and they've been in this large warehouse for at least a day now. And times are getting a bit fraught. There's some people that are still related to the uh, real world, the, the homid world, are obviously getting a bit frayed. And we will start the action for interaction between you lot from there. Mm. So, yeah, so we've been in the, um, the been warehouse. In warehouse for a day. Yep. Okay. Well, what, best of the day you can find them. Okay. The radio is not playing tinny music <laughs> anymore because I've already picked it apart wondering where the small human singing music is. Uh, About after hour one, the other person in the group, or small wolf, depending on what shape he decided to be, went over to the radio and dismantled it. Not quietly or cleverly. All right, everyone just needs, needs to calm down, okay? I am a member of the NYPD, all right? I should have clocked on for my shift, I haven't, so I am being looked for. I'm going to go over to Katie's character, Lizzie's character, because she's in wolf form. Mm -hmm. I go up to you, gently, and start scratching behind your ears, in a nice way. From, the, from what I can gather, I believe there must be some form of hallucinogenic quality in the air here, because like, I am seeing all sorts of stuff which I can't explain. But that doesn't mean we should lose our heads, okay? I'm currently unarmed. He doesn't understand. Um. I should know what to say. <laughs> that, um, I'm gonna guess we're all here for the same reason. 
that we all seem to have the same affliction, I'm going to call it. It's not an affliction, it's a blessing. I but yes, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm, I <laughs> nod. <laughs> Here are. Hi, Vesper! <laughs> um, uh, a little old lady came up to me in the street, told me that there was something going on in this warehouse. She said somebody might be in trouble. So I'm duty bound as an officer of the law. I came here to investigate. I was like, okay. Um, how to put this? Um, She's now taller me. Has there been um, a time when you're unsure what was going on? I'm an NYPD SWAT officer. It's kind of my job. Um, perhaps I'm being too delicate. Sorry, Kev. Oh. How do I, you know, go to do something? Because I want to do a howl mm-hmm. to um, help my brother find me. Mm-hmm. So, charisma and yeah. performance howl. Okay. So, so the dots relate to how many d10 you roll? Yes. Okay. So if your charisma is four and your performance howl is three, then you have seven dice. Ooh. All of the dice. Plus one for specialty. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of dice. <laughs> Do you get the specialty bonus if you don't have four dots? Uh, only in some. But basically, performance is one that you have to have a speciality in. Okay, but you don't get a speciality bonus under four dots, or you still do get it? Uh, the speciality means that if you roll mm-hmm. ten, it counts for two successes. Sure. How does this work? Figuring out. So you've rolled the dice. Yeah. So difficulty is seven. So okay. Anything below a seven is a failure. A one is a botch, depending upon how many successes you've got. Okay. So. So and every failure nullifies success. Yeah. Okay. I lost that one. Ah, so that's how it works. Three, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I botched it because I rolled a one, which counteracts the nine and then the other ones th- I have the same amount of failures as I do positives okay but then they're not all ones are they the no they're not all ones so they're fine they're, I mean, okay. it's still a success it's, it's only so the it's ones right. you get four successes okay so you howl which reverberates inside the, the uh, warehouse Ooh. causing dust to drift down in giant moats from the ceiling far above you um, yeah, so um, just a quick shout out. Thank you very much for nearly enough dice for following. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> we loves that. You can never have nearly enough dice. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, we have lots of when, sets of dice between us. So when she howls, I perk up a little bit listening. Curiously. I visibly flinch. Yep. So for all of you, you can tell that it was a howl of, lo- of, of a locational that she's trying to to determine to someone where she currently is you have no idea of the success or who the message was for but you all know that there's a wolf in a warehouse yeah I can see it it's yeah. over there um, I, I don't know how successful you're going to be we're in a warehouse on the docks of New York it's pretty busy down here <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sitting across there and laughing at you okay uh, I start looking around to see if I can't find an ingeniously lead way out. Okay. Um, there is only the one door that was loud and squeaked an awful lot. As okay. you make your way towards it, the door shudders. Like, visibly shudders. Okay. It, that, wow. Muscle memory. I go for the pistol that should be on my hip. But okay. because I was off duty when I was snagged, I don't have it. You, you grasp air, and then the door grinds open on old rusted casting wheels as it slowly drags NYPD identify yourself as it slowly drags across the way and you scream out your challenge Mm. a little old lady that looks surprisingly familiar to most of you sort of hobbles in with a cane and she just takes one look at you and smiles wistfully and hobbles up like this reaches (laughs) up with a hand Yes. Oh, pretty ones. <laughs> Can everyone else see that? 
Yes. Yes. Okay, so she's not a hallucination. Please be more respectful. There, there, there's a strange gutter or what sounds like a laugh, but not quite. Is the door still open? The door is open. Okay, I go to leave. Mm. Okay, uh, as you make your way to leave, a um, lurching dark shadow form steps in the way, and it's, it's um, a guy that looks more or less well, basically yes. as tall as he is skin. wide. So no, he is quite why? muscular, quite built in stature. He looks down at you because he's six and a half foot tall. Okay. You can see like ah, tufts of okay. hair. That's why I come over and look at Sharp and wiry on his skin, and he's, he's definitely got chops going. Like proper Wolverine Logan style chops going, um, and he just like you can hear the audible pop as he uh, cracks his fist. Now listen, buddy, I'm an NYPD police officer. Okay, I'm being held here against my will. That's a serious felony. Thanks. So, how about you just let me go Would you and uh, let us step and away I'll only give you a warning. Yeah, he looks over at the old lady and she doesn't even acknowledge that you've spoken, and he just crosses his arms and blocks your. Egress from the warehouse. I, I've gone over to sit by Lucy's character, by the way. Okay. <laughs> and then I just gestured. I, I, I pad over to the old lady and then sit down, sort of sniffing curiously, but not <coughs> doing much else. She, uh, she looks at you all and goes, Well, I guess it's about time we should get this right started. The moon has risen, so it's about time that it all began. Mm. So if you just want to calmly lightly follow me we're going to go out and we're going to go for a walk I stand up and cock my head <laughs> I stand up and walk toward her okay. I Come stand on. up and, fo- yes, and follow so, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm sorry what's going on mm, we will be explained as we go <sighs> ok <laughs> it's ok dearie <laughs> just come with me Sort of grabbed you by the <laughs> one arm and start pulling you along. I'm going to assume that she seems quite strong. Oh yeah, there's definitely like if you try and pull your ear out, it, it hurts more. You just go with the motion. Like an yes, old granny, uh, they're, they're uh, incredibly uh, strong when they're gripping vital parts of you anyway. Oh yeah, you get the feeling there's even more strength. Yeah, that's that's strength. more I was leading to. So I have you know I was like ah with a sort of confused face. <laughs> Grands are great. Anyway, and uh, she starts like making her way best, towards the walking exit. forward. Nice. Are you planning on following them? Yeah, yeah, I'm following them. Okay. So it's my best way of getting out. Yeah. So, so yeah. Escape! The, the dark looming shadow as the old lady approaches steps to one side and lets you all out. And then you immediately start making your way towards down a street. And she just is admiring the things that are going on in a dottering old lady way. She's not making an awful lot of speed. So you're mostly like, oh, God, just, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Can I t- take my mobile phone out? <coughs> uh, yes. Cool. Uh, I'm then going to dial the operator number. Yep. Oh no. Uh, and then I'm going. All I'm going to say is. Uh, <laughs> Currently, there's no service in your area. Put <laughs> 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 back in my pocket before anybody notices. Okay. There is a brief illumination in the area, but it uh. seems to have gone. Oh, uh, Business 86, thank you for joining. And hello, you know, we're in Guernsey, so hello from Guernsey. <laughs> hello in Bristol. So, in good old Bristol so ground. We, we, we've got a chance for walking, and it, she's not saying anything. I, As we're walking, I uh, don't want to demonstrate anything. You know, when you're walking with someone, right? Mm. And you just do like the bump against someone. Mm. Should I do against you? Okay, my name's Jasmine. That's yours. Um, my name's Alex. Um, yeah, forgive me, I'm a little confused with um, what's happening here. Mm. That's okay. We must have grown up outside of society. This is going to be fast and brutal. Okay. Good. At the moment, it seems incredibly dull and slow. <laughs> it's so tense right now. Yeah, you, you can, can see it with a knife. You can see a, a lamplight in the distance is flickering occasionally as you're making your way along the street. Mostly the, the entire area is illuminated by the three quarters full moon that hangs in the air. But it's peaceful, it's quiet. Even for New York, this is like ridiculously peaceful and quiet. The city that never sleeps. Like danger centres, there's all sort of up here. <laughs> the city that never sleeps was Seattle. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm using the wrong <laughs> mechanism. 
It's it, really it, quiet for a ginormous apple. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's currently more like a eaten apple <coughs> than a big one. Oh dear. <laughs> and you make your way along the street and she takes another corner and you can see ahead of you at Central Park. <coughs> Mostly because it looks huge inside the large man-built area that you're in. She uh, waits patiently and crosses the road even though there's no traffic coming. She still waits patiently and looks both ways and then crosses the road and starts her way into Central Park walking along one of the paths. You can see in the distance you can see there's uh, a restaurant on the green which is actually there and uh, a large pond area. She starts making her way and she starts to veer off and Lurch is very much behind you, sort of pushing you along so that you're all following the same procession and she makes her way into the shadows of the, the trees and the leeways. I stop and take a drink from the pond before carrying on. Okay. I'm just properly having a sniff of everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm just being rather tense, you know, at this point, still walking, you know, just you know, I'm just keeping an eye out, wondering why it's so quiet out. Oh yeah, I'm completely wound. Mm-hmm. So as you make make your way underneath the, the branches of the trees and you make your way into what they call the ramble area, which is more thick bushed area and stuff like that, you can see that she's still ahead of you. She's managed to gain some ground because you've sort of stopped <coughs> to admire the area and look at it. So you start to make your way after her, and she keeps going further and further into the into the ramble that is Central Park. Which obviously Central Park is I pretty big. I haven't stopped to admire anything. I'm just keeping up there. <coughs> I, I start oh. to slow down. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm just a critical like study of the character she's going on. <laughs> Do I have the relevant skill I need to be able to f- perform the action I want to perform? <laughs> yeah, so the way I this is going is. Um, Lucy will start stepping forward because I'm looking around then I notice she's gone forward a bit so I scurry forward and then the same thing happens and then I scurry forward and okay. It's okay, I, I keep looking out for you, it's okay uh, So as we're being sort of led along mm-hmm. uh, <coughs> once they make a slight corner I am going to keep going straight Okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to stealthily fuck off Okay. Ah. Going. Ah. I'm running in a different direction That's Stealth roll? Yes, and remember your totem gives you does. minus two difficulty to this. Yes. I'm going to set the difficulty at seven because it's yeah, yeah. a standard thing. So it's five at the moment. Okay. <coughs> uh, so I pass. What what numbers did you get on the dice? Oh, okay. I've got a seven and a five, yep. a three and a one. <coughs> okay, so the one deducts the seven. Yep. <coughs> but the three does not deduct the five, so you get one success. Cool. So yeah, you've managed to to branch off away you can still see them in the distance but you yep. think you've managed to get away with it yep. when all of a sudden through the night there is this howl that fills you with this sudden urge You're, even the hairs on the skin if you're in human form or the heckles on the back of your neck just stand immediately on end and you all look round because it is the howl of a hunt something is out and hunting the night and you're pretty sure it's hu- going to be hunting you When you cast your eyes down and you look around again, the little old lady that was there has gone and Lurch has disappeared. There isn't a lot of light and you're in the thickets of Central Park and you have no idea where to go back from. And you can start to hear the distant thump thump, thump thump of something in the background. From the direction we're facing, where would you say the noise is coming from? Uh, it is coming from your back left. Okay. We nudge you and we're going to run. Start running in the opposite direction. Okay. Okay. Come on now. Come on, Alex. Uh, okay. <sighs> and put you off. Come on. Um, so I, I immediately take <coughs> the rearmost position, given that uh, wolves only move as fast as their slowest members. Mm-hmm. So I take the, the rear position and wait for everyone else to get ahead of me. Okay, and it's at this point that you notice there are only four of you. There is a, a member of the people that were in the warehouse that is missing. Mm. Where's the cop? Um, can I? You can see them in a pool of moonlight. Yeah, because they're really <coughs> to join the thickets. So you're about maybe fifteen yards away from. Yeah, that's I would. Like I'm now basically trying to because the worst thing you can do in this sort of situation is run because 
your profile vision will pick you up faster. Mm -hmm. So I'm currently low and I'm still moving away from them. I'm ignoring anything from behind me because that's it's nothing to do with me. I'm just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm just trying to get out of Central Park. Okay. Get to a pay phone or something. Phone okay. with my NYPD buddies. Um, what well, are you guys going to do? Uh, with my wolf sight. Yes. Um, can I attempt to try and spot him? Uh, you can, yeah. It's perception and alertness. I would also like to try. Okay, I'd like to try and sense track. Got tracking. to get more than one success, and your <coughs> difficulty is seven. You know, okay, is yes, there? Yes, you can sense again. It will be um, perception <coughs> plus alertness. Uh, is there uh, because I've got wolf sight and it's dark? Does, does that change anything? Or it allows you to actually make the roll. Oh, okay. So three. Okay, so in oh, wait, um, one, two, um, I would three. like to um, use uh, bushcraft as a base, mm -hmm. but basically start deploying escape and evasion techniques I would have learned in the army. Okay. So some zigzagging. Um, <laughs> if there was some water. Yeah, that's going to mean moving faster. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so um, so eight and one, so I'm getting that. So they cancel each other out. And, and then a three and a four. So. No. You get no successes, you can't spot him in the darkness. Yeah. Okay. In Luther's form, I can't see him. Yep. my difficulties decrease by three, okay. which okay. means so four, four and above. Yep. That is uh, six successes out of seven. Yeah. <coughs> you can smell him. He is not far away from you, maybe like 20 yards, and he's making a, a fastish movement to get away from the four of you. Uh, okay. Um, um, can we? Uh, can I understand him in his wolf form? Yes. If he talks. Yes. If, oh, if, he, can, if he deems to talk, you, okay. Garu is a language that you can uh, really speak. Ah, uh, okay. He's just, just, he's just gone. He just forms. gone. I can't spot him. Um. So, in in the closest approximation to Garu that I can do in lupus, or can I properly? You can still talk in Garu. It's really yeah. guttural and difficult. Especially okay. when you get into Kronos. Yeah. Uh, by the way, quick shout out, Feeder Blue Gaming. Thank you very much for the auto host. <laughs> so I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to jump my, jump my, uh, well, snout forward, I guess, um, and just say there, that way. Okay. Yeah. We'll go. We need to get him, and go. Yeah. Yeah. We probably shouldn't leave him on his own. Ah, <laughs> uh, start going in the direction. Lead us there. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, I start moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. Again, keeping a careful eye on sort of where everyone else is. Okay. Can you make okay. another stealth yes. attempt? Yes. Yep. Try and evade them. <coughs> yeah. He's trying to evade two. us. Well, you just have to understand him walking. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I've got um, danger sense. Okay. You are definitely wow. Wow. in a very dangerous wow. situation. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm on edge right now. Um, no. no. Okay. So yeah, you, like not you don't safe. make any progress. Not safe. But you think you're still managing to avoid them. Yeah. Um, the rest of the pack catch up with you within about ten to fifteen seconds. So okay. the four of them kind of like rush up to you really quickly, and as you gather together as a pack, there is another howl, and this one is definitely. If you've cut the four of you have cut off this way and are looking in this direction at him, there's definitely a howl coming from over straight over his shoulder, about maybe a hundred yards away, still in the thickets, still in the darkness. Mr. NYPD, I will explain everything to you. Right now we need to run. This way. That sounds dangerous. Away from we need to run away from And him. if I remember rightly, the restaurant's back there. It doesn't matter. Don't have time. You need to Those trust are us. innocent lives. They're not going to be harmed. We're the ones in danger. Let's go. <sighs> yes, I can. I can sense it. It's definitely us. We need to run. If we leave you behind, we fail. You die. While while they're talking, I put myself in the position that's sort of between them and where the okay. Because you're because you're quite low to the ground, you can hear the <laughs> of feet, quite a few feet coming. The reverberations that are coming through your paws. Okay, so best guess yeah. more than one. Oh yes. Right. Can I, I walk up do a more than one wits, mm -hmm. um, a witch roll okay. with possibly survival to try and get an idea of whereabouts in Central Park I am and how to get out? Oh, of course, yes. Yeah, wits and survival. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Tulane. Yeah. Um, I, um, 
start heading towards you, I start nudging at your ankles for you to start okay. moving. And then, okay. like, even though it's guttural because Same. it's a, because uh, I'm a wolf talking, okay. it still uh, sounds fairly failure? delicate and feminine in my voice when I talk. So you've got a 10. So and 10 and nine, nine and a 5. Oh. And a 5 doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah. So Doing the that. 1 cancels yeah. out the 10. Yep. So you've got 1 success. Cool. Yeah. So even though it's quite guttural and <coughs> raw and stuff like that, it's still my voice still sounds very delicate and feminine. Run, please, or we're all going to die. Okay. Uh, I start running in the direction where I think the closest way out of Central Park is. Okay. Using you, that roll. You burst through <coughs> the four of them as they stood there and, and start heading. Okay, let's go. I'm presuming the rest of you are Is he running fall. the wrong way? He's running back to where you were stood before. Okay. Which is a good sign. He's still he, away. Is it, so. Is it, so, like, say they're this way. Is he running this way or directly opposite? He is running back towards the circle you are, so the howl that just came is behind you. So he's running away from the howl. He's running away. Yep. Let's follow him then. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's it's so still away. Keep so behind everyone else, but I keep up. Okay. Can everyone make dexterity and athletics rolls, please? Ooh. Um, yes. Okay. Yay. Yeah, you fought us. <laughs> One last. Your difficulty is again seven. Oh, so that's. I failed. Does it matter which one of the dice the one negates? Uh, it always negates the. Um, do you have a speciality? In no. Yeah, then it doesn't matter which it negates because the ten does not count as two successes. Ah, okay, that's good. Uh, in that case, what's the difficulty? Seven. Okay, so I got one success. One. Those are not successes. I could run! Two successes, one of them was a ten. So two successes. Two, two successes. Two successes. Three successes. Three successes. Failure. Yep. Okay. And one success. Yeah. Yay. So success. while while he makes a, a beeline away from you, you quickly catch him up with Lizzie going ahead of the pack and with the other members of the pack almost sort of shunting the NYPD officer along who's Still trying to stop occasionally to get his directions, and you're just like <coughs> hurrying him up. <laughs> I feel I've been involved in this role play. Um, <laughs> the next howl sounds even closer and is definitely behind you. You would guess probably about 50 yards. For those of you that are lupus, you can definitely feel a lot of vibrations coming through the pads of your paws, and you would guess roughly three to four. Very large individuals are chasing you. Three, maybe four, close, faster. Mm. Okay, it's starting to get whipped by all the branches and everything, and you're really losing a sense of direction. And still, the biggest thing that's illuminating the area is the three quarters full moon that's above you, and it's like spotting different areas that you're just making a beeline towards. And when you can't get there because a branch is like too thick or the area is too too underground and you're starting to move around it and spotting another one and making your way there and can we have another dexterity and athletics roll? Um, are we up or downwind from the things chasing us? We are upwind. Oh. Uh, mm. Ooh. So two one, successes. One success for me. Mm -hmm. I'm running faster. Um, so I rolled two tens and a one. Two tens and a one. Mm -hmm. So the one cancels out one of the tens. So it's just a one success. It's just one success. Yeah. Um, Unless you've got a speciality. No. Three success. One is a ten. Okay. <coughs> uh, one success. Can I, since we're upwind, can I attempt a scent to try and smell what they smell like? Yeah. That's going to be perception. And alertness, difficulty nine. Mm. Okay. So it's six for me because it's easier because I'm going to make a swarm still. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's. Six, uh, six, one, two. That's three successes. Okay. Um, they smell supernatural and they smell very similar to you. Okay. As you're pondering that over, and the rest of you are there, um, the, 
the sounds, some of the sounds stop, and then there's an almighty crack as some kind of gun goes off, and whizzing past Lizzie's ear goes a bullet. It almost singes as it travels past because it it's even though it doesn't hit you, you can feel that it is not not mm. right in the fact that it's a, even though it's just a bullet. I'm pretty sure the NYPD officer would tell you that any bullet shot at you is definitely doesn't feel right, but this feels like an anathema object to you. Mm. It's definitely something that would have hurt an awful lot if it yep. hit. Hmm. Right, as that happens, I'm just like, MOVE! NOW! I'm running as fast as I'm... I'm saying this to everyone, not yeah. just to you. And you're, you stumble through this, this bracken area into a clearing, and in front of you, while there is moonlight in a pool, and I, I do mean a pool on the floor as well, the moonlight almost reaches up to touch the clouds as well. And there's a, there's a haze of smoke, and it looks almost peaceful and calm if it wasn't for the fact that you were being chased to the ends of the earth and were about to die. But pretty much the only thing you can do is run either into the pool or try and make your way around it. But if you try to make your way around it, you reckon the people that are chasing you may very well catch up. Especially if they have guns, that would probably spell the end of you. Yeah. Stay low and zigzag! Okay. Straight in. Okay. Again, I board? make sure they yeah. go first, but again, I keep up. Okay. So, and as you well. all hit the water of the mm. pool, it doesn't break the surface tension. You are literally running on the surface of the pool, mm. and by the time that you're like, what is going on? You're slowly starting to make a vertical climb up. Even though you're still running at full pelt and should technically be running horizontal to the earth, as far as you're concerned, you're actually starting to go up through the moonlight itself. Starting to ascend and climb. Even the trees are starting to like that's a branch. That's a that's a quite high up branch. Got something vertical to you. Oh there's a bird's nest. Yeah, all that kind of thing is going on. <laughs> Can I have a perception alertness from all of you? Oh, four dice again. What is it based yes. off of uh, sense wise? It's based off of sight. Is seven is the yeah. yeah. If, it's, if I don't stipulate a difficulty, the default is seven. One success. One success. Two successes. Two and one to ten. Okay. For those that got two uh, successes, sorry. I'm just working out what I need. <laughs> Perception. Oh wait, because I'm in Lucas form. The difficulty is two less, so that's. It is, yeah. Yeah, so that's two successes. Okay. Three successes. Yep. That includes the fails count. Everyone out. except the great wizard Merlin, <laughs> who only got one success. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you can all see as you ascend and as the pond pretty much disappears behind you, what looks like a very, very small white mouse. And then it's gone. Just hmm. gone. It was literally stood at the edge of the pond, looking up at you, and then the mist and the fog just take it away. And you're going up and up and up along this silver strewn path. The clouds are all around you. You can still feel the reverberations of things that are happening beneath you. So you can still feel the tenseness and the chase. And it's still there. And the nerves and the, the all that feeling is still bundled up inside of you. <laughs> and then as you're carrying on, it starts to flatten out. You feel almost like the gravity is flat beneath you now rather than feeling that it's like I'm, I'm ascending a very steep staircase but with no steps and a smooth path and you start to flatten out and still you can't see anything from either side of you there's just this silvered path that leads ahead of you and you run for what feels like a good 10-15 minutes when it starts to s descend once more and you're going down and it's not like there is a staircase or anything like that. It's almost like a gentle slope that starts to peter down. And then all of a sudden you see the clouds sort of disappear in front of you and there's another pond. And you step onto it and you step into snow. And the mist is still around you so you start to... 
<laughs> Some of you are no. jumping around in it for joy. I start pouring at it like, the fuck this. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. cold. I, 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 snow. I, I start sort of actually properly cold. jumping up and down in it. It's snow! He explains. Has the I know. pond closed behind us? Is, the, is, the, is it still open the other way? Uh, if you turn and look behind you, you, you can still see the silvery path, yes. But nothing is coming up here. Well, like you couldn't see around the sides or anything like that, you can't see anything coming down it, no. You still need to get to a safe position in case something's ascending. Can I do some sort of a cult roll to figure out what the hell just happened? Of course you can. You can take intelligence occult. Ooh. Four. Five. Have I really only got five d10s? I need the six. Oh, that's exactly oh. six. Good choice. Uh, that's, that's fine. Thank you. Um, did um, do I would take care drinking the tea. I believe the milk was off. Yeah, I had a weird thing at the bottom of mine. No, no, I drank it. <laughs> um, three yeah, successes. Okay, you've heard stories. Oh, tell yellow, I won't. I think you just need to watch the bottom. What they call moon bridges, which supposedly are links between particularly natural areas of the world mm. that link from one place to another. You've never witnessed one, oh, but yeah. seeing that it was a silvery <laughs> shimmer of moonlight that you ran up, and, oh, yeah, then. And, and that was the feeling of it. Now, it, it's very vague as to the distance that one can travel on a moon bridge, but you, you've heard tell of like <coughs> old stories where a warrior really needed to be somewhere, and it was you know, days, if not weeks worth of travel away, mm. and yet all of a sudden, within the span of but a few hours, they were where they needed to be, and they turned the course of a battle. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, I press buttons, it's fine. Yeah, so... so. What name? I howl! <laughs> <laughs> You have? Yeah. yeah. So, um, so I've only read stories you know, about something similar to that, but that seemed like a <coughs> moon successes. bridge. Right, uh, you know the look <coughs> that dogs give you when yeah, they look really, successes. really, what? you know, how confused you? by um, your statement. I howl my name functionally, you know which is... Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huh? Essentially, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, um, Fly, flies without fear is what the you get. stories I've read suggest that. And then I keep this is some up kind of natural like phenomenon that if someone really needs to be somewhere, safe place. then they within a matter of hours, you know, minutes or however long so they suddenly are I somewhere imagine else. From my sort of are you body all language, insane? You probably get the feeling I wasn't Where actually are we? afraid the whole time. I don't Just know, but apparently we're where we're meant to be. That is a Wait. very good question and a very good statement, says a man that steps out of the mist. Who he's, are you? He's wearing a black t-shirt and some rather nice cut jeans. He's uh, got long black hair and uh, he looks at you all and goes, Welcome, pups of the Sept of the Green. I am the warden of this cairn. There is food and shelter for you. Tomorrow begins your rite of passage. What it? Thank what? you for your hospitality. Myself and my other comrades accept it willingly and gratefully. Ah, well, it's mm-hmm. good that you also gave the howl of uh, attrition and welcome. Very well done. <laughs> Pleasure to meet such young ones, especially so well etiquettely driven. And I, I, I bound over and nuzzle his leg. If a little still wolf like. <laughs> mm. he, uh, he turns and like that the mists sort of descend and part and you see that you're pretty much inside what looks like a a village crudely built village made mostly of like wood and skin drawn over the walls of the huts and stuff like that and you can see other folk are walking around you can see other walls you can (coughs) see one or two that are in in the mixed forms and stuff like that none of them in Krinos so that's war form but Definitely, there are other Garu here, and he points towards the hut and escorts you up to it. Before we start walking, is it is a warden? Just warden. Yes, okay. a warden. Um, warden, sir. 
our comrade here has not been introduced to any form of society and is still very confused. Ah, we'll be educated upon the morrow. But tonight, we will offer you hospitality, we will have the easy start that you need, and then you will be taught all that you need to know. If it helps, welcome to Canada. He says with a smile, <laughs> Canada! And then walks up and opens the door of the hut. Play in Canada. <laughs> Sorry. As we're walking, I'm like close to you but not touching. So, yeah. So do you, oh, oh, I'm, I'm a heel pull up at my hand and you're back reassuring me as you walk. No, I feel I need to, f- need to forget all that I may or may not know. That is a correct way of thinking. I, I pad forwards, investigating things and looking at things curiously. I pinch myself. It hurts. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. Roll a strength roll. It really hurts. Do <laughs> <laughs> uh, have another name to call you apart from Mr. NYPD? What, even if it's not your name, a name you prefer to be called. I'm Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel. My name is Jasmine. This yeah. is Alex. This is Flies Hi. Without Fear. And your name? Flies Ember. Without Fear. And this is Ember. You, you don't get any sort of vibe of fear off me as I'm bounding off curiously investigating things. With the utmost respect. Of course. What the fuck is going on? We are going through our rite of passage, as all should do in what our society. What rite of passage? What society are you on about? It's you get not the my place smell to explain. of cooked meat coming from the hut. Mm. Oh, it's not my place hut. to explain. Okay. Or we are going for I our step and that explain here. forward and then... Have you ever wondered why you were different to other people? The other loop has disappeared inside the hut. Not different. No, I bound after him. <laughs> <laughs> so inside the hut, uh, you find several um, sort of, not straw beds, but that kind of an ilk of a bed. There's some sleeping bags, a couple of straw filled pillows, there's some warmer clothing for those of you that aren't necessarily wearing the white clothing for a midwinter. In Canada. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's fucking cold. <laughs> as, as a point, I'm not fighting my curiosity floor when there's a smell of cooked meat and no one's being threatening. And there's a large <coughs> banked fire and there's a cooking pot on it, and you get the smell of cooked venison stew coming from it. I'll go up to it and I'll spoon one out for you. Okay. I, I I I nuzzle you a little bit and then start eating from the bowl. I I spoon it out. Oh, so I do the sorry. first one for I me. Got you, buddy. One for you. One for you, one for you, and I'll give one for you. Um, thank you. I'll take it and eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, Put some warm clothes on. Yeah, to, you know, um, just, ex- yeah, just explain, I know what I am, I just have no idea, you know, that even this existed. Oh, I no, thought no. this was all myth and stories. I just forget what you miss you do know and you will be taught correctly. I'm okay, going to change. Okay. I'm going to become human. I fall off my chair and spill my stew everywhere. <laughs> okay, your, your stew pop clatters to the floor so and look even, to the side. Even as rash rash. Where there was a, a, a wolf Thank there a second you. ago, there now is stood a human. I passed you some warmer clothing. And you basically saw her go from Thank wolf you. all the way up and all the way back down again. Mm. So she changed through many forms and definitely at some point limbs that shouldn't be limbs and, and now there's definitely a person <laughs> still oh, uh, hi. And, I one and and now there's done. another one that <laughs> changes no, no I, I, yeah. I don't I, I stop, yeah I stop <laughs> eating and just just sort of look go, go for the scene yeah. uh, so if you were sat in the chair like this I push up with both my legs the stew pot has gone that way <laughs> I rolled this way I'm now up and I'm looking for an improvised weapon you, you are still holding your spoon <laughs> Looking for slightly better, <laughs> weapon, but that was there is no other weapon but spoon. <laughs> I thought this would be easier to t- talk. Yes, I would say so. Who especially, are you people? Especially for Gabriel. What are you people? We are these people, including you. Um, <laughs> you're pretty sure and the wolf just said wolf. <laughs> I think he just sneezed. <laughs> no, no, sir. Wolf. Y- you may know me as Cammy. Um, that's what people call me in this form. No, there is no forms. I am hallucinating. Oh, None of this is real. This, this is one is, of my nightmares. This is going to be a rough road for him. Mm. Uh, 
currently I'm um what the word they use famous I, I edge famous. My, famous. I edge myself yes. around famous. the cabin okay. I get some famous come from think of it your voice does sound very familiar I then familiar. edge back Should to the bed that is furthest that away from everyone yep smear the soot across the floor in a line yep okay for now until I figure out whether or not I'm dreaming I'll stay on this side of the line you lot stay on that side of the line <laughs> <laughs> oh dear 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 uh, I curl off on the bed and I put the sleeping bag over my head. Okay. Like um, proper nervous breakdown. No, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to actively try to ignore everything that goes on from here on in. Okay. I don't really know how to eat in this form. Change back then. Comfortable. If it's easier. <laughs> He's not going to listen to us. Be comfortable. In fact, be comfortable. Then I, probably I change back into a wolf. So again, it goes, you know, no, from the girl. I've got, I've got a seat bag in my head. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I'm out. So, um, sorry, are you two not originally human? No. No. It's fascinating. <laughs> normal. I sort of point myself to myself a little bit like, normal. Normal. Yeah, so many things I didn't know. Are you, are you lying down or sitting up or what are you doing? I was sort of, sort of sat, so I'm going to start shifting, because I actually have to roll for this, where she doesn't. Is there a little bit of envy there? <laughs> <laughs> no. To, to be honest, I'm, I'm actually not as envious as I could be since, you know... You spend most I've, of your form in your form. <laughs> yeah, and I've got other stuff anyway. So the difficulty is six on that shift, and I've got four successes, so I get all the way to Homid without too much effort this time. It's like... Mm, not... Not natural. Don't like this one. Is your hair the same colour as your fur? Yes, oh, it okay. is. It is a sort of deepish grey tinge, sort of white and sort of like you'd expect to see on a proper grey wolf. Mm -hmm. so a proper white wolf. Cool. Yeah. Not, not natural. Don't, don't like thermos <coughs> human. It is necessary in some situations. Disagree. Some situations, don't like not it. all. Um, for this uh, rite of initiation passage uh, passage sorry um, are we required to be able to easily change oh I'm butt ass naked by the way oh yeah we were both butt ass naked <laughs> oh I'm not faced by the way <laughs> yeah ah uh, yes are you cold without fur <laughs> jacket I had to put it down on the bed and, and shift back into walk, normal <laughs> walk form <laughs> Yeah, because uh, that's free. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, are we meant to be able to easily change, you know, to our different forms? I can't tell you that. It's not my face. Ah, okay. We'll find out. <sighs> it's See. just that I've never really tried to do it by choice. I'm pretty sure they will find a way of forcing it. I see. <sighs> You're okay. like my mentor. Knows a lot says a little. Full there, of is, shit. <laughs> there, is, there is a difference between knowing things and knowing who should tell it to you. As long yeah. as you are aware of some of the basic laws of what we're going to be faced, you'll be fine. Okay. So I understand. Okay. I Meanwhile, in a nearby sleeping bag, la 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 <laughs> la la <laughs> la. <laughs> so I, I, just without I, the la 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 ring, I'm basically I'm listening out to wait for you lot to go to sleep, and then I'm off. Just remember that where we are, we are cubs, and are the lowest in rank. So everyone is above us. <coughs> and we should be respectful to all, unless we don't if we don't know their rank. Okay. And you can tell pretty much who's a cub. So I understand. Listen. Be respectful. Don't act like him. A point to sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> I pad yeah. around a little bit, go up, go no, into one of the beds and lie down on one of them comfortably. Under the, the, rest, the, under the, the sleeping bag. The rest will be taught. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember to be respectful. Okay, I will. Mm. <laughs> and we will go through the others if the yeah, as they come. <laughs> but for now, mm. we should sleep, we should rest, and be ready. Okay. It'll be a long day tomorrow. Have everything you need. Need. So you know what to do. 
So there are clothes for those that need it. There appears to be food if you are hungry, which I suspect you probably are. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, still been eating the. You know, I'll, I'll resume eating the bowl that you know was given. I finished mine quite quickly. I kind of stopped fast. since you know all that happened. Are you planning From on taking any clothes? Um, when when we leave, I'll probably take some. Okay. Yeah. Just, just in case we have to go into strange Wait. furless people forms. Well, there are wolf backpacks we could put clothes in for them. No. Oh. How are you going to take them? Are there huh. any form of backpacks? Anything we put things there, in? There, there are rucksacks and stuff, yes. But not designed to be worn by a wolf, no. Okay. <laughs> if I put yours Once in my I backpack. Once I hear them settle down for the in night. In case you have to change food. Um, <coughs> I will have a peek out from the food When I'm eating my food, and then I will <coughs> you'll see my that when I'm done, there is half a bowl of stew. I don't know whether it should be survival or bushcraft, like and my wits, to basically eat start half. E&E, to so escape an evasion. Okay. So I will, like, grab a rucksack, clothes, mm-hmm. out the door. I know, but one day tomorrow you'll need the energy. Okay. She howled for someone. I don't know who. My brother. Your brother? Kinfolk. We'll find him after this. Mm-hmm. Miss Pang. Hmm? It's a Miss Pang. He can't feed himself. Do passage fast. Go back. And you, buddy. Early rising. Oh, early <laughs> rising. So you're all sitting down. Well, yeah, before bed. Yeah, before bed. I was uh, disrespectfully to um, good night, and to you, Gabriel, if you're listening. Um, before properly settling down. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, uh, I, I want to attempt a scent check, see if <laughs> I can smell anything that smells like rodents or anything like that. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> so <it was> cancer. <coughs> Standard difficulty, I take it. Yeah, so fours for me. Sorry, Three successes. <laughs> um, very difficult to tell, but you think there was probably rodent in the stew. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I was going to see if I could find a rodent. <laughs> Possibly tie it up somewhere, but. <laughs> but that's fine. No, if, I can't, if I can't smell much more than... There's going to be a bunch of hog-tied little mice in there. <laughs> yes, yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, I, in that case, I'll just settle down. How are you in your sleeping bag? Did you just throw it over you or did you zip yourself in? Nope, I just throw it over me. Okay. Just just checking. So he's, got, he's got, like, a foot poking out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm waiting for these guys to settle, all right? I'm going to sit right next to your sleeping bag. Like, it's cross-legged. Take you slightly. Have you crossed his soot line? <laughs> well, technically, yeah. she has, because she's yeah. used to close to shaking. <laughs> Gabriel. What? Oh, I know I'm the most normal out of everyone, so I'm going to try and have a discussion with you. I have not changed forms or any such thing. Well, I was in my business and started for a now in my, my warm year. I know this is very difficult for you to try and get your head around, and it all may seem like some weird hallucinogenic dream. This is really easy to explain. Okay. I've obviously succumbed to PTSD. I suffered because I was in <laughs> Afghan. And this is some form of nervous breakdown. So if I just lie here and lie still, what I perceive to be this is obviously not the real world. So whatever I'm situation I am in in the real world, I've obviously just stopped and I will get relevant help soon. Okay. <laughs> so you see this is a hallucinogen and I am uh, like a, your subconscious talking to you. Surely you should listen to it even a little bit for you to dismiss it later on if you feel it's not relevant. But listen to me first. Does that sound reasonable? I've sat up. Okay. <laughs> so, um, in the world that you know, there are <laughs> humans, and the whole supernatural is is myths. There's stories you see on TV and movies, and is all rubbish. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Well, you've now stumbled into a world where we're telling you that that's not true. Let's sit down for the break. And <laughs> this is a nervous <laughs> breakdown. Okay. Yeah. Um, we in your terms, are werewolves. So most of the time we appear as humans. 
and then under certain circumstances we change forms. Okay. The other two <laughs> are wolves and can change into a werewolf and then a human. Baby's first werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's not to say that we aren't normal or anything like that. Okay. Now, even if you yourself can't accept your circumstances, you need to accept us. Not if you're part of a nervous breakdown. Of course, not <laughs> if we were part of a nervous breakdown. But if you wake up tomorrow morning and we're all still here, maybe it's not a nervous breakdown. Yes. 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 Okay. It's like, we should probably go to sleep. Yes. Because okay. early in the morning, we have our rite of passage. And we are only as strong as our weakest member. Okay. Which at the moment is you. And good luck with that. <laughs> no, you need to do it too. <coughs> yes. Even if you don't believe. Okay. Yeah? I fully agree with you, yes. What's wrong with you? You're agreeing with me too easily. <laughs> because I just want you to go away. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of all stuck with each other. No, no, you're just in my head. I've just had a breakdown. <laughs> no, no. Oh, just don't argue with it. Just just stay still. It'll all be alright. They're going to come get you. Meanwhile, I'm, you know, having a very quiet conversation with Thin Air. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Pretty much like what he's doing. <laughs> oh, oh, quieter. oh, no, I'm having a perfectly normal com- conversation. Oh. conversation. It sounds, you know, if anybody is particularly listening, it sounds like I'm talking at someone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, um, I'm basically just, go- no, just going, so I've had a rather strange day today. I hope, you know, I hope you're listening. Yeah, I'm also going to be learning a lot from the sounds of things. It's very <laughs> strange. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it basically I'm reeling off, you know, today's events. <laughs> <laughs> if wolves could roll eyes, my eyes would be rolling. <laughs> <laughs> that was basically what. what? <laughs> also, so you know, wolves are are, are hunting animals, right? Yes, I understand wolves, yes. Yeah, that's okay. I've got this one now. Just don't worry, Have a nice sleep. Don't worry, I'll be watching you. That was that was uh, that was almost super nice customer service service boys. Have a nice day. My hand edges to find okay. my spoon. All, all I'm getting is that scene from Pitch Black where Riddick's just there like just don't run. <laughs> okay, one by one, you drift off to sleep. I'm probably quite quick to sleep, to be honest. <laughs> Some of you easier than others. Are you actually sleeping? Oh, I'm going to try and bust out of here. Yeah, after a little while, you know, I do, no, do I end up falling asleep. You then hear me stop talking and then... Okay, so there's most yeah. assuredly three members of the pack <laughs> asleep, is he? Yeah. You in with sleeping? Down Absolutely. with sleeping. Good, right, okay. So the two members of the pack can stare at each other during the night. <laughs> <laughs> you should never leave. <laughs> mm. Eventually, never eventually, leave. the day catches up with me and I do fall asleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so everyone else in the cabin, as soon as I fall asleep, give me sort of five, ten minutes, I start having horrific nightmares. And people were thinking I was bad. <laughs> he basically is rolling in his straw bale and, and right. finding himself up in his sleeping bag. And the nightmares are of scenes of um, blood and uh, murder and death and you, you get the feeling death like it's, it starts off kind of like I uh, was engaged with an enemy combatant as a soldier and then quickly deteriorates into just guttural kind of roars and growls and stuff. What's the hunting season? (laughs) Like, second nature instinct. I wake up ish, paddle over and just rest my head on your side. The the nightmares start to die down and you drift into a deeper sleep pattern. Sometime later. (laughs) (laughs) Sometime later. You all wake with a start. 
as a horrific, blood curdling, horrifying <coughs> howl <coughs> rips you from your deep sleeps. And you all make perception and ritual rolls. <laughs> ritual rolls? Ritual? Yeah. Ooh. I take it if we don't have ritual, we just roll perception. Five dice. Yeah. You might succeed something! One success. Difficulty seven? Yeah, one success. Flat fail? Flat if I fail. get a one and a seven. Yeah, so it's, it's zero is just, out. Yeah, it's just, just a, a flat fail. Yeah, yeah. yeah fail. flat fail. Two successes. Two successes. Fail. Fail, right, okay. For those of you that got any kind of successes, Woo-hoo! it is a howl of mourning as if someone close to someone has died. And you can hear what starts with one suddenly is picked up by others and it makes this massive crescendoing noise as even the hut that you're in starts to shake a little bit. Is there anything like that with a normal wolf pack? It, it's the kind of howl that you would give if a pack mate had died. Okay. Um, with with the fact that I've been a wolf all my life, so that's kind of my Are thing, does it feel like no, I should um, start no. once the later howls yes. have come in? Uh, or is this one I should not it's do? not one that you should join because okay. they're not a member of your pack or, or, or something that you know that's sure. died. It would be very disrespectful to join in cool. the howl. Um, in that case, while that howl deadly is silent. building, you can hear a second howl that goes off. And can I have another... Pers- no, sorry, another intelligence and primal urge difficulty sense. Is yes. your danger sense going off? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, danger sense. Uh, the hackles are not going yet. Oh, okay. No, no danger sense. This one I can... Oh, it's just four. Oh, wow. This is just base intelligence yeah. for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, five. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. Botch. <laughs> Ooh, you cannot determine a difference in all of the noise that's going on. You just burst to the other three. Three. Okay. So for all those that got successes, the second howl that's built into the first howl is a howl of summoning a pack. So for a pack to come together. So there are two howls that are going off. You get the sense of there's definitely something terrible has happened. Mm-hmm. But, it, it's but there's just another noise. Yeah, there's, well, it, it's, it's difficult to noise. split the noises yeah. for you. Um, the rest of you, those that got the first success, know that there's definitely a death that's happened, and now somewhere a pack is being called together. But it feels more than a pack. Like, as if, if you were a pack, the five of you, mm. is talking about a number of maybe 30 wolves to gather together. Obviously, if you didn't get the first one, you have no idea that something's died, but you know that people are gathering. Subconsciously, mm-hmm. I start trying to get closer to the guys. Okay. okay. Like, you so so suddenly like realise what's going on, and my head is mm. still, like, up against you. Yeah. 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 What, so, what are you guys planning on doing? Okay, uh, so, so someone has died. Uh, the pack is gathering, not our pack. I'm not making a noise let's, until they stop howling. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's get up, get dressed. Mm-hmm. And wait here to be summoned. Yes. Okay. Okay. By the way, there is a complete snap change in my yeah, yeah. in my demeanor. Like uh, it's almost like I primal taking over. Yeah. Um, uh, we need someone to take the backpack with their clothing in. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. With backpack. <laughs> okay. Okay. I pack it military style. Okay. It's combat loaded. So, so you're packing two sets of clothes yep. and coats for these two. Are you planning on wearing a coat or anything? Yeah, or I'm wearing I'm wearing all the cold weather gear. Okay. Anyone else? I'm getting dressed as well. Are you going uh, yeah. dressed into the clothes they provided as well? Yes. Yeah, I'm going dressed in the clothes that was provided for us as well. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to try and put a couple of sleeping bags in. Uh, you have to sort of yeah, strap yeah. them to the side. You get like two yeah, strapped to the side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Super sleeping bag. <laughs> but now everything's really, it's military. I'm, it's like I'm falling yeah, it's back on all of my military training. It's been about ten minutes and the howl is starting to die down. Are you guys still planning on waiting inside the hut? Think so. We were told to wait here until someone came to get us. So that's what we should do. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm I'm going to pad over to like the entrance exit to the hut. Yep. And just look out. Yeah, there is still a door, so you <laughs> can't really see through it. But you you can get the feeling of motion happening on the other side of it. Like even in your keen 
wolf-like hearing, you can hear the padding of paws, you can hear in the distance uh, what sounds like a mixture of growling and shouting and, and anger. It's definitely the emotion that you're feeling is going on somewhere outside in the rest of the cairn. There is a lot of anger. Yep. Uh, I step forward so that I am in front of the other guys. Okay, but you're not in front of I'm them. I'm not in front of him. Right up against them. Yeah, them. but I'm in front of everyone else. Okay. You can hear footfalls coming towards the door. On your knees is your most respectful position. You can listen. But yeah, with no, with okay. the I'll with the knees. sort of anger that I'm feeling, uh, I sort of back back away from the door. Sort of yeah. I ears stand back up and like. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Just a little bit, sort of. Mm, they're, I'm not, they're not happy. So think of it, you know, like you're up on one knee, one knee down. Okay. Yeah. And wait. Alright, so yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> one knee down. Sit down, sort of away from the door a bit. So the door crashes open. I oh, snap off a crisp clean salute. <laughs> yeah, and you can see this like black furred arm <laughs> with talons that are razor sharp that just grab the handle and wrench the door open and there's just this almighty get out here cry that booms through the hut. Even the fire almost banks out when he shouts this. Okay. Hello, Marge. Oh. I get I, up and go. Yeah, I'll, I'll I just get out. Okay. Quickly get out. The, the moon is quite close to to descending, and you can just start to see the very faint glimmer of sunshine in the in the horizon that's coming up. And as you can see all of that, rising or setting, rising. Sorry, it rising. looks like so. It looks like it's towards coming up towards dawn. Um, sure. You can <coughs> see that you get this beautiful vision across this like frozen lake and tundra and there is snow descending all around you not particularly thick and fast at this point but it's more than you would basically <coughs> see most of the time in the UK uh, here you say you start eating the snowflakes um, and you can see down about 100 yards away from the hut there's like this gathering of 30 different People. Some of them are in war form, some of them are still in lupus, some of them are in homid. But there are five individuals that stand in the centre and they stand nine foot tall, <coughs> glistening fur. The snow doesn't even touch the fur, it literally gets close and the, the, just the frenzied anger that's in them burns the snow off so it doesn't even touch them. Some of them are wearing like uh, mantles, so they are like a circular piece of cloth that goes down and it has these odd runic markings on them. Mm -hmm. One of them carries this large hammer that looks like it should be wielded by two hands by a human being. And he's just holding it comfortably in one and it, it looks bigger than a sledgehammer. Um, you can see that it's rather silvered on the top as well because of the moonlight is gleaming off of it. And you can see one that stands dead in the centre and he is just bedecked in this almost like um, Native American styled um, armour that ribs around his his chest and there are tassels and feathers all nice. above it and the five of them stare in abject anger at you as the other werewolf that's there as you start to come out he falls behind you and just pushes you down into this bowl with these five angry rage filled <coughs> creatures that are just staring at you like you Done something horrific by falling asleep inside of a hut. Um, you. Uh, definitely not. I have a small bit of fear as I stop. Oh yeah, I'm a bit so, stunned by all so this. I'm definitely <laughs> not playing with the snow. Then I'm actually more <coughs> alert at this point. Like, <coughs> yeah. so can I have intelligence primal urge from all of you? Just four dice. <laughs> Seven. Just no. Just <laughs> no? Not a botch, just one no. success. One success. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, no successes, just not. Two, one's a ten. Yeah. Two. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Right, for those of you that got successes, the five individuals represent each of the auspices of a werewolf. So you have a ragabash that stood to one side, next to him is a theurge, in the centre with the armour is a Naroon. Off to the next is a galliard, and to the far right is 
Philia docks. Um, Philia docks, while everyone stood in the line, you can see the Philia docks is like half a pace back. And while still really angry, isn't directing his anger towards you. He's more directing his anger towards the, the other four, almost, but not not quite in a disrespectful, you know, they're my pack mates and I don't agree with them, but mm. I'm still going ahead because they're my pack mates, they're my best He's friends kind of Maybe yeah. more kind of like more disappointed that they're letting their anger rule their emotion. Yeah, kind of you thing. get that kind yeah. of feeling from the situation that's about to occur. Mm-hmm. I just feel anger. Can, <laughs> can I instinctively, like, um, as we're p- pushed forward, kind of end up so that I'm stood opposite the other Ragabash? Yeah, you can form a, a rough line opposite yeah. to your auspices, if that's what yeah. you feel. Um, so the Arun just logical. sweeps a gaze across you all and then says, You are no longer welcome among us. Our spirits have cried out to us in the night. Our pups are dead, murdered by your people, by all the customs of the people. We are no longer obliged to compete your right. The fact that you are pups protects you. However, for we may not kill you for your elders' transgressions. Therefore, you are cast out of this cairn. Do not return. For if you do, you will no longer be protected by the litany. And at the mention of the word litany, the philiodox on the side almost visibly flinches. And basically the room just points to the side. And you can see there's like a gate that's been widened open. And the, the werewolves that were all around you are starting to file off to form two lines that lead out of the cairn. I nudge you and start walking us that way. <laughs> Yeah, my, my first thing was going to be I look I look towards you to see what you're doing. <laughs> I, I look at you, do that, mm. and start walking. I'm going to defiantly wait until they've all gone past me, mm-hmm. and I'm going to go after them. Okay. Yeah. So I, as I walk past, yeah, so I follow. So I, uh, Gray. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of give him a knowing look, mm-hmm. as in like I know you're going to wait. You're going to be the last man. I'm going to be second to last okay. man. Kind of that kind of look. So, so imagine I'm walking at a fast pace, mm-hmm. and keeping myself like stringently you know like how you swing your arms when you walk really tight but I'm breaking every edge to not run but walk like strongly out yeah yeah are, are any of them pets. particularly like staring at any of us individually or are they just mm. the room is like directly staring at you all in the eyes which even for you guys feels both terrifying and like a threat at the same time and a challenge and you get a whole bundle of mixed emotions about it but you can definitely tell that he is far more powerful than you are. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very terrified right now. No, 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 I don't know what we've done. You don't, you kind of like that. Yeah. Like, um, like that. You, you get that feeling of definitely you are in the wrong, but at the um, same time you have no yeah. idea. Give, given my daredevil throw seeker type nature, oh, I, I'm, I'm not going to do anything threatening or like I'm trying to challenge him, mm. but I'm not going to back down I am going to sort of I'm going to look him in the eyes and then when he's gone past and everyone else has gone then I will start moving off okay because I'm <laughs> so, as, so as these guys get out of the gate <clears throat> I stop to make sure that you're catching up as soon as you get up to where I am yeah. then I move on so it's like I'm, basically I'm tactically retreating yeah okay. I'm not I'm not far behind you as you're going down the line of Garu they're, they're all just like looking at you Throwing daggers with their eyes, effectively, um, but there's one in particular who has this like almighty scar across his eye, like that. Left or right? Uh, across his left eye, and it's uh, <laughs> it's pink and puckered, like it is fully Fresh. scarred. Okay, get medicine rolls. Okay. Yes, if you have medicine, you may roll it now. It is wits medicine. <coughs> oh yes, wits medicine. Oh, yeah. I said that. I can do that. Oh, okay. Do you have any pools? Bring it now. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, no. <laughs> See, so all the dice in the world does not necessitate a success. Ooh. It's not bad actually, considering. Oh, that counts. Uh, four, four successes, but two of them are tens. Mm-hmm. And I, I have. S- I don't have medicine. I have a specialty medicine. Don't have medicine. Okay, what's the specialty? Uh, I've got EMT, uh, so no. but, but paramedic basically. Cool. 
Do the tens only matter if it is a specialty thing? Yes, in which case sure. they count as an extra success. Cool. Um, hey. All I need to know mostly for the dice roll is whether you succeed, fail, or botch. Mm -hmm. unless I ask you for a specific number because then there's actually a difficulty grade above the difficulty grade of success oh, sure. where you have to hit a specific number of successes to get the achievement uh, so, okay. as long as it's a success, failure or botch those are the important bits okay. um, you can tell that this scar is not fresh even though it looks fresh okay. it's like a perpetual almost like he's spiritually damaged as opposed to just physically damaged so there's something that's keeping the wound there, even though the wound is old. And he really dislikes you all. Like proper, if someone didn't have their arm on his shoulder, he would be attempting to claw your faces off. Or, or museum. And he is in Krinos form. What else do you know what the description is like? So well. he is dark haired, but not black. More like a really dark brown. Um, and he has flecks of white just above his knuckles of where the fur is on that and he has razor sharp talons even more so than any of you that have dabbled by going into crinos form yeah so yeah so, yeah, so I look yeah I end up looking towards the scar something weird about it but I don't know why <laughs> and then as the last of you crosses through the gate gates slam behind you with an almighty shudder and the snow falls off the top hitting the last person who <laughs> travels through the gate almost like the final full stop of do not return yeah. and you are left stood next to like a wooden palisade barricade of just stakes that are aggressively pointing outwards as if awaiting someone to besiege the cairn and then you can hear more howls of loss of tragedy um, and things like that. We need to get safe distance and then we'll form a plan. Try and find some town. Let's go. Um, by the way, thank you very much. Is that O U L W E? I'm going to go with U Uli. Uli? Yeah. 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 Either yeah. way, thank you Uli. very much for the subscription, buddy. Thank you very much. <laughs> if that's what I think it is, hi. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Yeah. There are two ways I think I can think we can do this. Mm -hmm. um, to my knowledge, I have never apparently shifted. Are we walking, by the way, or yeah, is this? Yeah, 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 we're still going. I said, if we were stopped, I would start shifting people. Yeah, no, we're moving. Um, I have never shifted, even if I can. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so we're only going to move as fast as I can humanly run. We'll stay fine in human form for now. We'll get a safe distance, and then I will talk more. Yes. <coughs> okay. What area are we in? What is I the train? Put my hand on your you like upper flank, kind of uh, where your shoulder would be. I'll take Regal on this one, buddy. You yeah. are in a a like in our tracks. wood area. You wouldn't call it a wood. There are trees around, and it's mostly a degrading slope okay. that leads Go. to okay. the bottom of the valley <laughs> where we'll there are more it. trees. <laughs> Um, and the valley either cuts up to one so side. So I imagine that means you'll cover the majority of theirs, and I'll just cover mine. Seems to go down at that point. But yeah. the snow is really is still starting to descend, so it, it cuts down a lot on your your vision. And because you're also in the valley, you can't see a great deal. But you can definitely tell that the sun is just starting to peek over what would be the horizon if you weren't in the valley. Okay, in the valley, I don't know much about snow terrain. Who does? Uh -huh. We covered it in E and E, but I've worked in the Afghan mountains it snowed up there sometimes mm. so as, as we first thing going. we need to do get a safe distance keep zigzagging don't go in a straight line and if we can try and cross a body of water sensible um, tactics as okay. we're going can would it be more logical do you think to do a stealth or a survival along with wits to cover our tracks hmm or possibly well, survival is probably tracking yeah. so yeah. Go with wits and survival. Sure. If you have a speciality in tracking, I'll let you count the speciality. No scent, unfortunately. Uh, three successes. Okay. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything else that would be relevant to that. You managed to find like a branch that's yeah. fallen from a tree and you grab hold of it, and as you're walking behind them, you just 
briskly shaking it backwards and forwards to knock any loose snow and snow yeah. into the uh, prints that are being left behind. Yeah. It's really starting to crunch under your paws now. <coughs> um, we need to get to the bottom of this valley mm-hmm. and then head down. down deep. Okay. Then down. So I'm looking at you like the valley will do this. So we need to get into the bottom of the valley and mm-hmm. then the valley itself will aim down. Keep okay. walking down. Is it getting difficult to move like in this form or is it still okay? Is no, it's, it's, just it's still okay at the moment. Mm-hmm. Most wolves well, are. Used keep to this a fresh yeah, yeah, pace. We, eat, we ate yesterday. We need to see if we can find anything else. I don't know how far any society is. None of us do. You can survive three days without water, three weeks without food, and three minutes without air. Okay. okay. We can melt the snow. Currently, we're all right. Okay. Well. I can hunt. Wonderful. Let's go together. As we're walking, if you do have any questions, I'll try and answer them. Or we walk more complicated stuff. I'll discuss when we settle down. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure we don't get caught. I do not believe any of them will follow us ourselves. But safe distance, nonetheless. Hmm. Do, do, do. Okay, you descend into the base of the valley. Mm-hmm. And after a, a little tactfulness, you determine which way the valley is leading down and start to make your way. And the snow is still billowing down still drifting, the, the lupus among you don't get any sense of any natural creatures that are anywhere near this close to the cairn or anything like that. And you can still hear the faint echoing noises of howls in the distance. But mostly you can hear the wind and you can feel the snow hitting against your cheek or against your bare flesh where it is and it feels cold. Prey avoids Cairn. Okay, we will keep heading. Those of you without gloves, put your hands under your armpits. Sensible tactics. Um, I take it we weren't provided with any gloves on, you know, with the, cl- uh, with the clothes that we were given before. No, yeah, didn't think so. Okay. This. <laughs> <coughs> okay. You descend what feels like hours, hours and hours of treaching through snow. Eventually you can no longer hear the howling, but you can almost feel like snippets of it are still there, but it's mostly just the wind rushing past your ears as it travels through the valley. You can see the trees are even barren and bare, and they reach out <coughs> like branches that look like fingers towards the ground. It's properly a feeling of death and morbid sorrow in this valley at the moment. <coughs> Um, in roughly what sort of yeah what sort of sort of point in the day are we at now? Um, you can definitely tell the sun is up. It's pretty much directly over the valley that you're in. You would need to make some kind of wits and survival roll to try and determine what time of day it is, unless any of you have a watch. I do. <laughs> Excellent. In this <coughs> case, it is currently thirty-four minutes past eleven. Oh. If you ask out loud. Oh yeah. Well, I'm basically, yeah, I'm basically just looking, you know, and I'm. Oh, do you say out loud? I wonder what time it is. Mostly staring at the sun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, mostly staring up. No, so I, I wonder what time of day it is. So Eleven thirty-four. Two successes because I don't understand human oh. time. Oh, it, it's about mid. And I show you my watch. Okay. Midday. That's useful. Hot is <laughs> and it still feels bitterly Hot cold. Time. And the snow is nice still falling. It's almost <laughs> falling a bit. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like. Yeah, if, the feels gets, safe. if the weather gets any worse, we're going to have to stop and I'm going to have to build a shelter. I think. Would it be more sensible to set one up before it gets worse, or do you want us to continue and then find a better place to set it up? I've never really done camping before. Hour by hour. Okay, I'll wait until you're cool. Natural shelter best. See, if you spot one, tell us. Okay. Will you? Mm-hmm. Um. If it helps, I have used it before. Uh, actually, so I, I just run something by you. Yep. So the rights which I, which I know, mm-hmm. um, how do I need to? Um, how do I need to perform them? Is it you know? Uh, because the one I'm looking at is the. <laughs> yeah. That's why I asked you to write them all down before we started. <laughs> so I've got the page number. 
Two one one. Hang on. Good boy. Two seconds. That's a good point. I've access to PDF. It is a beautiful core cool book. Mm. I'm going to be buying myself one. Uh, Much blah, 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 blah. That's the deluxe edition. It's up on the expense. I don't even know if they still do print jobs of it. It's drive through RPG. Sorry, just to say. As I showed you before, my level of tech does not allow me to use PDFs. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Mm. Yes, okay. If we find anything that even roughly resembles a structure, I can make it more habitable. That's fine. I can build something that will resemble a structure. Um, I can make it more comfortable once you do that. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. And do you want the page to? Um, I can have the book for now. I don't need it. Intelligence. Let's say. Cool. No, I know what I need to roll. So cool. that's fine. What would it be to roll to keep an eye out for a decent sort of either natural shelter that we could improve upon temporarily, or just something <coughs> we can hunker down in? Okay. So to keep an eye out for. Uh, I would go with intelligence survival for this. Intelligence survival. It's terrible, but it's one. Probably yeah. enough, that's what I would need to roll to do. <laughs> Three successes, so I'm keeping an eye out. Okay, so you're going to need to look for caves, natural areas where trees almost sort of bend together, so you could just build a structural wall, or any kind of area where the snow is particularly soft, so that you can mostly scoop it out to build a bank. And then you could either huddle behind it, which would still leave you exposed in the front, but would keep you not exposed at the rear. That's the kind of things that you're going to be needing to look for. Or building. Okay. Um, yeah. Is it okay to have that as a role as constant for looking while we're going? Yes. Yeah, yeah, if we have time in a shelter, um, um, so as we're going, hopefully sort of I could try and gain constantly favor engaging the weather. With it, it's getting worse. Spirit. Okay. After like an hour or an hour or two, it's getting worse. You're still not seeing like the yeah. end of the valley yet. That's cool. But we need to wait until we are in a proper shelter for either of us. To All right, guys. I'm not yes. happy continuing. Okay, Pian? It's now about half past two in the afternoon. Okay, uh, is there any place? Uh, first of all, then, we need the trees. Are we still in the yeah, We've got sparse trees in here. Okay. Not, as I say, not a forest, uh -huh. but, but there, there are, are a few trees. Sparse amounts of trees. Okay. So given um, that we're in the valley, are there any sort of cave areas or decent <coughs> tree formations? I can see anything you've gone through. Yes. Ah. So I've got a right of binding. I want to try and bind a tree spirit so we could use the trees to form a natural shelter. Okay. You can give that a fair shot. You think you're mostly going to probably need to be in the umbra to do how do I get to the Umbra? Do I, I'm sure I know, don't I? Yeah, so you need... Oh yeah, I need a pool of water. You need a pool of water, a reflective surface, or somewhere of complete and utter nature. Mm. Okay. Um, you two, because you're the most manoeuvrable at the moment. I need... Um, four sticks. About that long. And about that thick, if you can get them. Um, in that case, uh, I'm going to attempt to shift two forms. Okay. You've got the shoelaces from the boots that they're not wearing currently. Yep. Alex. Yes. Oh, yeah, the, that's. You need to come help me. Yeah, four what successes. You need help so I shift to Krinos. Yep. Because that will be the biggest one for carrying big shit. Yep. Um, and I'm going to go off and try and find some big things. But I'm still going to keep an eye out to see if I can find any natural ish shelter. Okay. Uh, all in all, I will let you collectively roll an intelligence and survival. Difficulty six. Gathering parts that you need. Oh, sorry. Uh, intelligence <laughs> and survival. Cool. Two successes. So I need your I collective you number survival. of successes. Then it's just a straight intelligence. Yeah. Three. What's the number? As long as you have the first one. Which you seven seven again be. is your difficulty. <laughs> you can again, if it doesn't specify, then it's seven. So, but yeah, two successes. So, Oops. Three, better do six, it this way. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <coughs> eleven. Eleven successes. Okay. Blimey. 
Uh, you manage to cobble together what could conceivably be called a permanent shelter. <laughs> Well, I, I do. I do have craft. I do have bushcraft. As a, as a you, skill, say, you can so. always ask if we have one down from that, and we've built a fire. No, uh, we won't need a fire. Not with our body heat inside. Not even to melt snow. We have water. Obvious. Uh, you just hold it in your hand. <laughs> you can. You literally just eat it. How comfortable too, is it? Too obvious. Uh, well, it's not got armchairs. Right. Put it that way. It's. Uh, it's got uh, a hard packed floor. Okay. Um, but it does sort of fit five of you. Snuggly. Um, over the floor, I um, unwrap the two sleeping bags that we've got and put them down so we can sit in the sleeping bags rather than the. Okay, it's, it's now a bit more comfortable. You've got <laughs> a bit more padding for your ass, but uh, you wouldn't want to all shift into Krinos form and attempt to sleep in here, put it that way. I'm staying in war form. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, once we've gathered, I'll what? shift back into Lupus. But it's not really a door. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah. Think you mean. <laughs> Way. Is it still very, very barren of life other than us? You haven't even seen a bird flying. Okay. Mm. So, right. so we need it maybe probably a reflective surface. Hmm. Okay. So we're surrounded by snow. Um, we can maybe remove one that way. It is more if we had something more knowledge with the area, we could have it as a guide out here. I do have one way of doing it, but I don't do it lightly. Okay. So um, before doing it, explain the circumstances. Um, easiest way I can explain it is effectively I can see spirits. Mm-hmm. However, if I do it wrong, um, it means that I could be seen by bad spirits. So maybe that's not the best way at this time, then? No. Um, otherwise, if we find one, I can talk to it. <coughs> yeah. Maybe I'm gonna the only out. ways. Oh, yeah. no life. If we Little can open up mm-hmm. the umbra, I can find and one. I'm gonna act as a guide. Scurry round mm, to see if I can idea. find like a bit of rock that has mm. a, even a shallow dip in it. Mostly everything's covered in snow. Then I'll start scraping snow off to find okay. basically about this big with a little. A, basically a hole in it yeah. sort of thing we'll come back to you in hours time yeah it? um it's but, just um, a reflective surface because we won't be able to melt any of the snow to try and make water not with it being cold between us we could um, I, I pad around getting a general scope of the area sort of familiarising mm-hmm. myself with What's okay. around our shelter and keeping an eye out thing? Uh, perception, primal urge, please. Remember. Perception, primal urge. Difficulty eight. Um. <coughs> oh, no, it's fine. It's. Um, because I am on watch and basically just guarding, so I keep moving around. Um, okay. I have <coughs> also my. Um, Five for No, no PI ability. Mm-hmm. Um, I got one success. So basically, I'm just a uh, hazy outline. See, this um, just goes to show that I can't roll very well. They're different. No, you can't. I'm not rolling very well in the session, you know. So, because it's perception and I get uh, decreased difficulty for in being in lupus form, that's five successes. Excellent. Okay. And um, you managed to find the trail of two rabbits. <gasps> two rabbits? The two rabbits. Okay. Um, the band bands. Okay, in order to not go too far, I will follow it and try and hunt them. Yep. Sorry, buddy. Um, we both spot up. I didn't realise you were rolling them. So it's very rude for me, I'm sorry. Ah, that's fine. You, you can see in the, in the distance. Just the you're looking at seeing what else this can do. Trying to make headway in the snow. It seems. As they're going right. up the mm. we are awesome. tip of a valley. Um, so, levels of Primal knowledge. Urge specialty hunting along you. with me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dexterity? Yeah. Do what? To watch. Yes. Mm-hmm. Try and get them both. Gabriel. Okay. Gabriel so I'm going to attempt like to adapting have them. Better. Mm-hmm. It seems to have changed. Something like this. Really, uh, at some point, we will have to do the basic of yeah. crash courses. Should we encounter other. Our box is two ones. Werewolves. Nine and zero. In this area. One success. 
One success. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, hang on. It's a specialty, so that ten counts for two, even yeah. if there is a one. Yeah. So two successes. Then. Okay. You managed to grab both of them. Cool. And break their tiny little necks. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> okay. Even though I kind of want to leave one out, I think with the sparseness of shit around here, I'm going to bring them both back. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring them both back to the collective group. Okay. Grey returns with a brace of bones. Um, to be fair, the amount of time I've taken. Just out of curiosity. It is. Obviously, we made the shelter. Is it relatively wa- waterproof? Not is sure. it still Wait, like massively cold? Like, like, it's not it's massively cold. It's comfortable with the sleeping bag. So you can sleep. Can you can't see me. Gabriel? It's a bit warmer than the outside because you're not in the cutting wind. Oh, yeah. It's the most important bit. But otherwise, it's still. If you have more bodies, it would probably be warmer because it will retain it better. Yeah, no, that's fair. Mm. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Mm. I just put my hair back in. You can eat things, you're all right. Uh, you can't really cook a fire. I've never really eaten anything. We all enjoy it, let's do it. I, I, uh, are you sat down? Uh, I'm sat down. Pretty okay. much up I head come head up to you, no put my paws onto your legs to show you. But it's, like a <laughs> but it's just a pair of and dead bodies, yeah. and then I get yeah, off and then put them down somewhere. Okay, this yeah. is a very good first mm. lesson. Okay. But after like five minutes, I travel back in. I will say that you come in as I say that to make okay. it easier. <laughs> are you holding anything? No. Okay. Can you hear I'm, me where you are, Gabriel? Yeah, I'm just putting down a pair of bodies. Sure. Uh, you, I, I think he's on watch. Oh, maybe. Oh, is no. is this something I would enjoy better in my other form? I climb Either. a tree to see if that, the height advantage gives me a better view of what the hell's going on. Taste changes uh, it would in do, different but the snow forms. is really coming Slightly. out thick and fast. If you are more used okay. to your change, really it doesn't really. really. For you, it so would be better in your other form. So maybe the storm passes, that would be a good course of action. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a smaller shelter, so I will stand in the doorway more... Boy. Outside, not used to change. Outside. Yes, probably best. <laughs> Very quickly before we will change. Don't break shelter outside. <laughs> With food, as part of some of the litany, you should always have the highest rank takes first share of prey. Okay. So, how are we deciding who is highest rank? I growl at you. So it's like that, okay. <laughs> I growl louder. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I maintain eye contact with you with the growl. Okay, uh, bear with me. Oh, shit, the fact Would it be down. primal urge? Yeah, it would be. I'm going to use my natural leader. Well, charisma pro- and primal urge or leadership if you have it, whichever is higher. If you're rolling leadership, let me know because that would let me an easier. And I need to know the number of successes because you're rolling against each other. If I'm doing leadership, I get an absolute leadership which adds plus two to my dice roll. Okay, so <laughs> plus two to your dice roll. Hmm. Is it automatically gives you two successes? As in, I get an extra and I roll. Oh, right, an extra two. Yeah, okay. yeah no, that's fine. I don't think I've got anything actually to help me personally, or a confidence problem. Yeah, that's that's difficulty, difficulty for leadership is six. Oh, I've already rolled mine, so. The difficulty for leadership is six. Oh, thank the difficulty you, anyway. for just primal edge is seven. <coughs> Uh, one success. success. Okay, so far you're feeling the urge to back down. Yeah, it's fine. So uh, uh, after sort of growling <coughs> loudly and aggressively, I sort of back down a bit. He's not giving up, but he's just like you know, there's this. He just takes a subtle head <coughs> movement backwards that to mm. most people wouldn't look like anything. Like maybe he's going to take a deeper breath to do a bigger howl, but. To the rest of yeah. you, you can tell that it's <coughs> it's the start of a signs of mm. submissiveness. No, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, so from what we can, what we can tell, you know, um, is anyone else yeah. gonna enter into the ground? I don't break my contact no. until he does. Yeah. No. No. And then you're still outside. Yep. I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna wait for this growling to die. <laughs> <laughs> you have what? Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> What does he 
Nothing. I'm going to wait for the growling to stop. Okay. You, you can definitely hear growling going on inside yeah. the shelter. <laughs> once, once the growling stops, then I'm going to poke my head in. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to play that like game? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the but, growling yeah. ceases and... But yeah, I, I, I will break off eye you, contact slightly. You and come then in and you, you see that uh, one of the wolves, you presume grey from your remembrance, is sort of like, is just breaking eye contact and, and looking down towards the floor area. And you can yeah. definitely see that the the other one is, is Jasmine. Jasmine, sorry, thank you. I was, I was struggling <laughs> to read the sheet. <laughs> it's Jasmine is definitely um, sort of she's almost not standing, but, but she bigger. looks bigger. Yeah. She's like leaning forward into the motion that she's doing. Okay. You have a feeling that something important happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what is all this noise about? Shut up. You're going to get us caught. <coughs> I suppress a growl. I was just trying to uh, explain the current situation. Which is? They were fine. We're on the run from an unknown enemy force of superior firepower and number. We are on the run from the set of blue. Yeah, that. And we are not on the run. They have told us to go. I was still in enemy territory. As a clarification, it was not the Sept of the Green. That's where we came from. The, the Sept of the Green was the one in New York, as far as we Oh. Know. Well, so we don't even know which Sept that was. Mm. Well, no. <laughs> none of you asked. They were Wasn't at the time. fighting for Alpha. Okay, who won? Fighters. Congratulations. What were you fighting over? Nothing. <laughs> I was establishing my base. Congratulations. Thank you. Alpha. It's against, against okay. the litany for any of the set to hurt us. Okay. Since I don't know what that is, I'm going to run, run along the, uh, the, the the lines I've got, which is we're behind enemy lines, facing an unknown number of hostiles, an unknown, unknown force. We, are, we currently are trying to exfil, yes. so our best weapons are stealth and subtlety and shutting the fuck up. You are in an unknown territory with unknown enemy. I'm trying to give you further intelligence to help with the campaign that we're on. Yes. So if maybe I can give you some of that intelligence and we can form a plan from that. Okay. So what was all the ground about? We are simply going for we need to eat. Yep. Um, Alex is not sure if he is comfortable to eat things raw. It's going to change to a comfortable form so we can have something to eat and then form a plan. Okay. So mm. why are the ground? I must establish my base. Uh, there, there is an or, uh, what does that what does that have to do with eating I'll explain again afterwards I'm, I'm here now okay so one of the first one of one of the main listeners especially with a pack is that you have the greatest in the station one second I'm guess what's going to wording um so you have um the first sheriff kill goes for the greatest in the station okay and that would be the person who's on the most for the pack right no that is your alpha. Or where she's by definition. Would the alpha be the one who leads the pack and has done the most of the pack? That is not the same thing. Leads the pack, yes. It would be like the captain in a military. Okay. Yes. Put my hand on both bunnies. Mm -hmm. Put one to you, one to him. Sorted. Okay. And I leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He has split um, the share. I <laughs> must. I'm going to be handing out the stuff to Yeah, I must add that I've not actually really tried to change, you know, of my own accord before. So I think, you know, I think that this may be the best time to try, <laughs> being okay. as our survival is okay. uh, against so us. I'm going to put the bunny down either way, mm -hmm. and nudge you outside. Mm -hmm. I'll go outside. <laughs> Now okay. I get to learn what I actually need to roll <laughs> to do this. As snow is coming down <coughs> fast, you cannot see more than about 10 yards in front of you. Only going a little bit. If you have walked up. further than 10 yep. yards, no, okay, you can see yeah. just at the edge of your vision mm -hmm. that there is a, a form which, by all means, you really hope is tally it. <laughs> yeah, so Basically, I'm always in visual contact with the, with the day. Okay, so I'm going to shift. That's uh, okay. So I get to Krinos and then stop and have to. 
carry on in a moment. How do you shift? Yeah, so yeah, how do you shift? That was going to be my next question. Yes. Stamina um, and primal yeah. urge. I get the rest of the way, no the issue. the one that you want to get to will tell you the difficulty. So. The number of successes you need is the number of steps it takes to get there. So, once, once, <laughs> I, once I'm in the homid form, despite the fact that I'm naked and not particularly comfortable in the form, I don't seem phased by the nakedness. I don't want to that. Right, there was a picture of Once, I want. Um, for, for narrative <coughs> purposes, can I stop at phases as I shift on yeah, the way back to Lupus? Yeah. If you over succeed, it's not like you go, ah! Well, no, because Lupus is my natural. <laughs> oh my god, I'm. I'm but a it's just a case of I stop as I do the shift just to show him the things. Because oh, I'm no, going to. You, you'd need an urge roll to get. Because uh, I'm going to sort of ex explain to him as I go. Either way. I'm going to step out. <laughs> change to human form. In. Your natural form. Yes. This one. You need to shift up to large war form, then further along <coughs> to wolf. Too complicated. <coughs> Too complicated. Not complicated. Simple. Gradual change. Right. Okay. When he says that, Watch. I'm going to change to Glabro. Okay. She first form change halfway to war. Need to go through war to become wolf. Right. That first step. Up Easier <laughs> but take more to go to war form. Yes. Feel allow to take hold and shift. So, and then I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you mine. Form. Since since <laughs> mine, is yeah. a bit they're going for much dirty than I was going to yeah. do. Since okay. since, <laughs> since mine's a bit more, <coughs> you know, yeah, involved. No, yeah. violence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Happen to your fear. But yeah. What, oh, what okay. fear? Um, <laughs> that's my actual no response. Fear. You can blow a point of rage to succeed at a shift. Just let you know that now. Yeah, so you've got your primal roll dice until you get it. Well, you know, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and see if I can na no, naturally fine. do it, but I'm just letting you know the other ways of doing it. Okay. I actually failed that shit. So, you know. <laughs> being, being, thrown <laughs> off, being thrown off by why why is fear involved? So you can see me in my Kronos form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay. so yeah, so do I have to go yeah. through each E each one, or is it easier e easier to go, you know, from Homi to uh, to Krenos to Lupus? Uh, sorry, what? So do I, yeah. So if I want to shift, yeah, do, you know, do I have to go through each separate stage like that, or you know? Well, what what do you want to shift into? Which one of the forms is basically the first question? Yeah, you know, uh, basically, I want to shift off to Krenos. Up to Krenos. Okay, so that tells you what your difficulty is. Uh, okay, so yeah, so yeah. there is just you know your dice roll is strength, uh, is stamina and primal urge, on which yep. you have Zippo primal urge. It's straight stam yep. for you. So you have to roll two successes because you're in Homid. So you have to go one success will take you to Glabro. So if you only get one success, you will move to Glabro. Okay. And if you get two successes, you will end up at Krinos. Cool. If you wanted to go to Hispo or Lupus and you've got two successes, you would end on Krinos. And then they'll have to make another roll. And then you'd have to make another roll to try and get down to what you want. Right, so you okay. Go up the scale and down the scale. <laughs> cool. So yeah. Let's so, sit. yeah, so you see me shift. It takes me more than her. Which you imagine you'll probably take a bit more as well because mm. you're rolling for it. <laughs> and I get up to the big hulking death form. Let's, let's see if I can do this. And watch you expectantly. <laughs> <laughs> Two successes. Nice. So I yeah, so I go straight you know, go straight into Krinos. Yeah, so you know, um yeah, so I try yeah, I I try and remember you know, um, the feeling that I got the last time that I turned. Oh fuck me! <laughs> Yeah, straight into what? Yeah, straight into War Machine, which I'm about. Yeah, um, mainly brown. You know, brown, brown fur, a bit more defined, I guess. Um, so you see, as he changes form, the clothes that he's wearing. Oh yeah, that as well. Not that any of you have ever seen anyone, because I don't think any of the rest of them have changed yeah. it either. The clothes that he's actually wearing, they start to expand with him, and then they're subsumed <coughs> behind the fur. Mm. So you just get the fur is on top of the clothes. You're not entirely sure if the clothes are still there or if they've become <laughs> part of the skin or if they've disappeared. But while when you change into a larger form, into like the Glabro, they expanded within. So it's not like 
he suddenly had huge muscles and the shirt was the same width the shirt actually expanded to the same amount of give that was there before yeah. is still Stayed there it, yeah. mm. now because he's in Krinos form or form the shirts are no longer there yeah. either the trousers or the shoes <laughs> or the socks yeah so now feel the just primal natural and feel the wolf and then completely naturally I just shift down into wolf form I'm going to try that again come on yeah. One success. Mm. Oh wait, no, it's not. Yeah. So no successes. I've I missed the one. <laughs> you see, <you> sort of. <coughs> yes. <laughs> You're channeling too much rage, basically. You're just getting. <laughs> and the the, the the harder it is to try and shift down into the lupus, the more frustrated you are. Calm. It is natural. Bye again. <laughs> Get. Good. Much better. <laughs> Don't fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Two more successes, and then yeah, that's four successes. Uh, sorry, three successes. Oh, yeah, because yeah, the ten six. Because the difficulty is six, so you got six. Oh yeah, missed the six yep. and eight. So therefore, that's three successes. Sorry, so yeah. If there was a form beyond lupus, you would have hit it. There yeah, sorry, because I'm. I've got it with six because yeah, I've got <laughs> seven, seven. <laughs> yeah. So three successes. So yeah, yeah. So obviously, you see me struggle a bit the first time. I find my centre and then go down. Everything's a lot closer. <laughs> mm. Mm. Different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Quite. Mm-hmm. Very. As I start trying to use four legs rather than, <laughs> <laughs> rather than just two, it, you sort of stumble like, I don't know if you've ever seen a baby giraffe. <laughs> Have you ever seen a dog coming out of an anaesthetic? Yeah, basically, for the, first, for the first 30 seconds, you like tease a totter, and yeah. there's this weird moment where you almost splay all four legs in different directions, <laughs> but then after that initial 30 seconds, it becomes quite natural to walk with a <coughs> left arm forward, right leg forward kind oh, yeah. of approach to walking. Yep. Um, as I see that he's tottering, mm-hmm. can I bimble over? Just very quietly, yeah. not trying to be stealthy, but not drawing attention to myself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my spray my fingers into his fur because mm-hmm. he's wolf form. Yeah. Just in between his front shoulder blades and just over his rump, and then just ease his weight up slightly. So if he does go, he's not going to face plant <laughs> the snow. <laughs> yeah. You feel a, a little bit lighter and definitely like a grip on the back. Of your... Yeah, I'm doing <laughs> this so I don't <laughs> hurt him basically. <laughs> It's probably uncomfortable, but <laughs> uh, you can't feel any clothing underneath. Okay. You can't <coughs> feel the, the, the yeah, skin the, of the fur. Give like a throaty chuckle. <laughs> yeah, first time I've been in this form. And then once I feel like he's got his feet, I let yeah. go. He seems to be naturally standing. Yeah. There. Oh, no, no, just let me. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to pad back into the shelter. <coughs> Bring the rabbit that he uh, pulled out to me out. And bring it over to you. You're not used to eating raw. Eat Ooh, meatier parts <laughs> first, easier. Leave some for others. And I'll let him. I'll let him take from the rabbit, so that he can, you know, actually eat a bit that isn't all bones and not not understand why he's stabbing himself in the roof of the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't understand. Yeah, I think I pull up a bit from mine and give you some. Yeah, so then I awkwardly you know, um, start I'm trying to, to you know, try to eat. <laughs> Feels odd to have the second you take a bite teeth that like extend past like a natural human. Yeah, so, oh, has anyone like seen that um, video of the cat trying to, like to eat it. from its bowl <laughs> and it just opens its yeah. jaws way too widely? You know, <laughs> <laughs> almost like it's trying to eat the bowl. <laughs> yeah, sort of a bit like that. Like, uh, oh, please uh, tell me you do this cute uh, little yelp when you bite your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, fuck it, I'll do that. <laughs> uh, mostly, he also, he also has this moment when he like, bites through fur. <laughs> <How's that> like? <coughs> as soon as your teeth sort of pierce the flesh mm-hmm. and you get just the lightest touch of blood on your tongue, you then sink like the whole of your jaw into it and it becomes a very natural thingy. 
to mm. be eating in this manner, in this form. Ah. Um, while they're doing that, and before I actually have any of my share, I'm going to sort of pull off and see if I can find anything else. I'm not imagining I will, because that looked like it was probably quite a rare catch at this point. Perception from the range. Yeah. <laughs> You've got ten yards of visibility. Difficulty nine. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't the minute you get close to being out of my sight, I'm start. I'm going to start doing some vocalizations. No deductions for Lucas from. No deductions for Lucas from. Sure. Um. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. 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 Do am I still able to get like, the wolf sight extra yeah. die for movement Receptive base? Of my surroundings when I, while uh, I'm no, because it's snow. So I've had one. Sure. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I'm used to no. no, I can't find anything. No. So what, once I've sort of had a look for a little bit, I won't be out for too long. But once I've had a, a bit of a look, I'll head back. Okay. And then if if he has left me anything after his sort of primal Ooh, this is natural to eat like this, nom nom nom. Yeah, so but yeah, so before you've walked off I'm kind of awkwardly trying to eat you know, you know, eat into it. But by the time you've come back I've devoured it. No no. No? Because I'm going to keep a watch on you. Oh, okay. And it looks like you're not going to leave anything. I'm just going to give you a little dig in the shoulder or something. And a knowing look. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> we left you some without food. Huh? We left you some without food. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you probably. Mm. Mm. So, you know, I sort <laughs> of get so angry. Just stay down yeah. there, like. <laughs> Yeah, I sort of get angry and then sort of you know I get angry and then sort of realise and it's like oh yeah. I was meant to leave some. (laughs) 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 So then you know I'm I sort of step away. Again, after you've taken. You don't have to step away from it. I didn't mind, Mm. even though there was you know. Gabriel share. Gabriel share. There's still half of my share left. It is. Half. Find them later. Was currently, I have. Okay. That's the four of us. Granted, two are furry than the others. Suits you, Alex. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Who's in what form, by the way? Lupus, Lupus, Lupus. Lupus. Yeah, Lupus. Human. (laughs) Lupus, Lupus. Lupus. The number of walls has increased. (laughs) (laughs) So I trundled up to you. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I yeah. So I sit. Do you know um, how in um, the military there are proper codes of conduct, there are rank, there is like My things thing. that are about class as bad etiquette. Yes. Yeah. So if uh, an officer was to salute you, you don't salute you back. Form. Yeah, yeah. You get you get oh, me some message. Oh, so did I? Oh, sorry. When you are uh, staring someone in the eye, oh, that is yes. just that one. You are challenging them, or you could be forcing a look upon them. Okay. Um, uh, and generally, so what I'm doing if I'm trying to say something, yeah, yeah. If you look okay. Next to the forms, that's that's fine. So I'm looking at you. I'm talking to you. I'm not looking at you. Oh yeah, I've got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With what a growl of intent. So I mean, right, that is uh, something to consider. Right. Even, yeah, but someone of very so high ranking. Ah, yeah, oh, okay. So basically, what it would be with the pluses. Could construe it if they are a more angry nature as a challenge. Yeah. That okay. So if that ever happens, then I will deal with yeah. it when it arises. That's fine. I'll write that out. Very bad um, etiquette because of that. In a so that hack, three. your alpha is responsible for your. So if you mess up, One. I'll take the. So you're our alpha. Unless you wish to attempt to challenge me. And the alpha would be the leader. Yes. No. But it does not mean I tell you all what to do. Okay. I'm not an expert of all challenges. The only way we're going to survive is if we work together. Of course. Okay. And if somebody is, if we're arguing over food, that's not good for unit cohesion. I was not arguing over food. <laughs> I was trying to explain etiquette of the world we are in. Can we have that conversation when we're not on a snowy mountainside in the middle of Canada? We are in the middle of a well, a Garu territory. Little mistakes can come back to us. <laughs> okay. So it is important zero, intelligence for the area we are zero. in. <laughs> that is no, that makes it so much easier. all I was explaining. Yeah. I, will, I will try my best not to upset anybody. Okay. 
That is, like I said, most time so got we will have yeah. leeway because we are mm. new. To yeah, even though this is all still new for me. <laughs> but uh, but if lost, I'll look for so some some will not. Some more angry people might. Um, I, I'll try. Can the two of you mm-hmm. make sense rolls, please? Ooh, is that um, so perception? perception and uh, alertness. Alertness. Ah, okay, that's cool. Four. And that doesn't give any perception, though, does So it's still four. And remember, in this form, I have no idea. Minus two perception. Obviously, you. Difficulty. Have all come to terms with this. Oh, so, so there. If, if it's a base of seven, real? we need a base of five. Ah. <laughs> Unless it's not still one. Still, I'm not interested in so challenging anyone. Ah, okay, that's right. Anything like that. I'm purely here to you try you and make sure everyone survives. Mm. So, okay. I'm not uh, in the way of any challenges. So I'm not going to offer any. But at the yeah. same time, everyone's going to get food okay. and no one is going to pick on somebody else for no reason. Wolf. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with picking but on people. Well, something I agree with is people. different about it. It's okay, not. Yeah. It's we'll not, look after pack. It's like a werewolf, mm. but um, not like a werewolf at the same time. The thing time. I'm looking for you can is. Smell Tapping into if apparently danger sets. I am Wolf. one of you. Heckles are up. Hmm? Yeah, How like do I Garen. change? Oh, not sorry. Garen. Danger. Dan- danger. S- uh, spirit. Garen. Not Garen. No. Spirit. Uh, mm. There is. Um, they're saying that there is another werewolf. No. Not a were. <coughs> Something similar to a werewolf. Yeah. Similar, but not that, werewolf. Yeah. What? Who uh, is good at fighting? Smells people? like spirit. Spirit. Like a spirit. Very good. Same as spirit. spirit. Yes. Where's where's flies without fear? No, uh, have you come? Uh, you haven't actually come back yet, have you? <coughs> um. Apparently, I'll be about to come back. Wait, wait, wait. If not, Sorry. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, can you roll? He yeah. He went. He went off. I was gonna. If not, I was gonna howl, food, and maybe? Su- howl and summon the pack. <laughs> Five. If I can't find him. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I have a willpower yeah, of yeah, five. Right. My willpower is not bad and it's not great. Yes. In the middle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three Can you roll hmm? your willpower? Three three yeah. <coughs> right. Just willpower? Difficulty seven. Difficulty seven? Nick. Yes. Yeah. You're going to be howling with those two. Mm. Botch. I'm going to be howling. Mm. Okay. Okay. Botch by two, if that do? matters. Okay, so as cool. you walk cool. into the, cool. the clearing, the, you can see yeah, the you get to try and <laughs> they can just about see you oh, okay. at the same time. You get <laughs> this okay. scent of a wolf, okay. and it causes um, feelings of like primal fear in you. Like, if you've ever been chased by an axe wielding maniac in a game and you know the the feeling that those characters have of utter yeah. despair and dread dread and there's <laughs> nothing you can do about it you get that sense and you immediately bolt okay away from the pack so you can see him start to emerge and then he stops and like sniffs the air and this look of utter sheer terror crosses his eyes and he just bolts out into the blizzard again Grey! And I bolt after him. Okay. In human form. We'll let everyone have an action first. Yeah. Where was the fear? Where was he looking when he was afraid? He was literally looking at you, sniffed the air, and then, like, at the sheer, his eyes widened, and then he bolted directly away from you. Um. Uh, get pack. Can I, you know, uh, from my um, scent roll before, yeah. do, do I get a general sense of where the scent was coming from, or just I just got it in the, in the air? It was definitely obviously upwind of you because you smelt it to start with. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure where the wind is coming from. But you, I'm allowing you to roll a wits plus a cult roll. Ooh, wits and a cult. Uh, so three, five. Five D six. Oh, oh. Uh, I wrote them down because they're in the oh. book. Yeah, I wrote them down. Technically a botch. <laughs> a botch? Yeah, because I've got A1 but no successes. Okay. 
something was about to come to you and then drifted off once again when your alpha gave a command. Yeah, so. No. Uh, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. It's, 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 it's the wolf brain, that's what it is. Not used to it. <laughs> if I am this, I need to be stronger, faster. Like, I'm willing myself, trying to find it to see if I am something like this. Stamina for knowledge. Yep, and I'm trying Pick to go your Kronos wolf okay. form because my somebody's in danger. So you're going to need two successes. Yep, and you get to six. six. Yep. <laughs> right, guys. You can do it. You can do a whole. Uh, Oh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, nope. so your last yeah, I order mean, was get the pack and then Collaborate. Yeah, and then go I take it towards so yeah. If it wasn't a blizzard and you were walking normally, your sense of height would obviously feel that you were taller and it would be your muscles would feel more powerful. Mm. They still feel more powerful than they've pretty much ever been in your life. Yeah, I kinda of look down. And myself. I keep forgetting yeah. my stamina bonus. And I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll try again. <laughs> I'm gonna Bigger! Have, um, Bigger! I'm gonna how to call the pack together. Okay. Okay, so that's one. That counts as that one. Can you roll your willpower again, please? Flat, no. <laughs> Flat nose. My two eights are counted out by my two ones. Okay. Oh. So your sense of terror and dread starts to abate as you're getting further from the pack and you hear the call of your pack to you, but you're still unsure about something. You just get this like feeling of unease and the hairs on the back of your wolf neck are definitely stood upright and it's difficult to really focus but it, it's becoming less clouded and just terror it's just difficult to focus and you can see him sort of begin to slow down a bit That's cool. um, ahead of you obviously these two for your <coughs> intensive purposes have disappeared into the blizzard yeah. um, I yeah, could have I stood basically in the uh, archway I'm going to say archway and howled out of the hut <laughs> I'm going to attempt to follow suit, you know, um, mm -hmm. to try Does and help. Does anyone have a cult? Yay. Okay, wits and a cult roll, not you. Yeah, fair. anyone that hasn't oh. touched it. <laughs> That's fine, let them do that first. Yeah, not you, you fail. Uh, you botched. <laughs> yeah. For the rest of this scene, no more cult rolls for you. No! <laughs> so far as I, I can't, I can still do willpower as if I botched one of them. Three successes. Okay. Um, you know that the tribe, the, the predominant tribe from the set that you were just in were the Wendigo tribe, and their rite of passage is one very much of nature and rage, and um, the strong will survive, the weak will die. Mm -hmm. So, going on the knowledge that you have, going on the knowledge that you have from your thirge, in the fact that it smells like a spirit and a wolf. You think it's probably a vengeful spirit of a pup that failed its rite of passage and it's come drawn to your area and your teachings and everything that's going on. It's been drawn to you and it's trying to drive your pack to separate and fragment and inevitably fail. Okay. Can I? Oh, this is going to be really You can't weird. determine where it is. Okay, that's not what I want to ask. Okay. I want to know. Is there such thing as so they're doing calls for pack? If is there such thing as like an alpha calling a pack together? Uh, no, it would just be a call for pack again. We said before about the milk. If you were listening, uh, this is my tea. Yeah, the milk's gone. Off. Sludge and milk. The milk's gone. <laughs> the off. milk had gone off. We didn't realise until yeah, after I didn't realize the tea until was I finished made. My tea. Oh, it looks like sugar. It's, well, it's definitely not. It's, no, because it's, <coughs> it's probably actually the gone off milk. Mm. Yeah, um, not good. Yeah. How do I do a cut? Right. Is it just a how? Can I add a command and how? Because I'm commanding them to come back. All yeah, Lizzie was about to show you something. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Um, for a how, it's performance and charisma. Don't have performance. Just charisma okay, then? So uh, yeah, because I, yeah, I was going to say I was going to try and follow, and kind of try and follow yeah, suit as well, but that's yeah, fine. So if you have performance, performance and charisma. 
Ah, he's got half the four. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. Well, I'm yeah. going to attempt yeah. to add up to how as well. Uh, Ooh, it's a success. Six. Are you oh, trying to your Yeah, I'm going to attempt to how because I'm not going <coughs> to you. Say, you. I, think, you know, I feel like it's the Russia right thing to do. As I hear Russia you two yeah. say to build oh, your yeah, house yeah, again, because that's, that's my coloration. Well, no, no, we're still working. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're, we're howling, by the way. Hang on. Because as, as I hear you two start to build for your howl, I'll howl as well. So, okay, you're all howling. Yeah, so I got a success. Okay. Yay! Yay. Uh, uh, but fucking owls. No, okay. how old are you? Um, <laughs> you've smelt something cross your nose that definitely smells of a wolf and a sheer terror, and you felt it try and claw into your mind to get you to flee from the area, but you staunchly just ignore it because one of your pack mates is in. In jeopardy, and you can feel that it really doesn't like you. Yeah, that's fine. Because <laughs> I really don't. Like it. So you know that. So I'm basically like um, em- empathy-wise, nice. I'm getting this Those wave of it. Just doesn't really like me. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> also have empathy. Can I try and mirror that back at it? Yeah, you try to. Ooh. I don't know if it's going to work, but yeah. Yeah. Go Are you with do this? Uh, oh, sorry. manipulation. Yeah. And remember, you're in Kronos, so your manipulation has changed. Yeah. Minus three. You can't minus three, it's just zero. Oh, is that not minus three then? Well, you take three off of your manipulation stat. Okay. To, yeah. a, to a minimum of zero. zero. Okay, cool. Because you can't go lower than the zero. Yeah. And then add that empathy to it. Yeah. Have you got a speciality? No. Yeah. Uh, one success. That's fine. Ooh. Okay, so all three of us are howling at the same time. Do you want us to pull all of our successes? Yes, please. Okay. One. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven successes. Yeah, what are you attempting to do? Call them back. Yeah. yeah, you get an an urge mm. is the only way to describe it that you need to return and you know exactly the direction you need to go in. Um do I read your willpower at this point? No. What's your wolf name? Is it Fly Without Fear? Fly Without Fear, yeah. <laughs> Fear. Yeah, I know. Why is that fear? Stop flying in fear. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not flying. It's fine. So, <laughs> my coat is russet brown. So, like, think like I've got like a white belly and like the brown that comes down to like halfway down sure. my flanks and stuff. I'm in Kronos form, um, and I've just got this look in my eye, like <coughs> there will be no one is going to hurt my fucking friends today. And I'm emanating this empathic wave of like. This thing thinks it's big and fucking scary. Well, fucking so am I. The snow isn't even touching him because of the heat that's coming off of him. Oh, and then right, I okay. look at you, and I'm like, "We can't protect him alone. Let's go." <laughs> Do I need to or anything else? No, my that pretty much breaks you out. <laughs> <laughs> that awesome. is it. Eleven successes. I'll get your ass back here. <laughs> awesome. Um. Uh. So. But what I'm going to do is, yes. so that I don't belittle him, I know that doesn't make some, might not make some sense, uh, I am, I'm going to run behind him, so I'm going to make sure he's running in front of me so it looks like he's leading me back. Do you know what I mean? So even though I know he's scared, I'm trying to make it look like he's bringing me back rather than the other way around. Instinctively, I still won't let you go behind me. No, that's fine. But again, I'm so, instead of being behind <laughs> you, then I'm in front of you, but I'm looking as almost like I'm being shepherded okay. by Fly. So, so basically he looks like the good guy. I'm going to shift to Kronos as well. Okay. Because I'm not particularly in a happy mood. So, the ball, the ball so I'm ready. Shift. Yeah, like pretty much now. Uh, I mean, what I one, think a ready two, stance two, is. Three, four. Oh, right. Yeah, if that's, that's five. I'm oh, pretty I sure I'm in Kronos. Also, doorway. you changed the Kronos. Everyone roll dex plus wits. Oh. So I need. Oh wait wait wait. Uh, four. Plus wits. Well, my wits is higher, so I have four, right? One. Seven. 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 Yeah. Death. Death. Um. I need yet another d10. Plus <laughs> more wits. Oh, it's dex. The wrong one goes. Yeah. Two stats together. The whole way through, I've only been using my highest uh. stats. Oh. No, no, you. Combine well, when I've said like dex plus wits. Yes. No, you add oh. them. Oh. You add um, them together. To <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a fail. 
Okay, just, just, just flat. Zero success. Oh, still, 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 still seven. Seven, seven. seven. yeah, still sure. seven. Aww. Even with those amazing rolls, one. One. Do tens make a difference this time? No. Cool, so just one. Five. Five. Four. Hold on, hold on. Can actually do be helpful now. <laughs> yeah, so my yeah my ready stance is like my you know my back end is higher than right. my front. <laughs> Who got quickly. the highest number? Me. With five. Five. Um. By Four. highest number. Of successes. Success. Oh, sorry. How many successes? Sorry, my bad. <coughs> Three. <coughs> two. One. Okay, which one of you has the higher out of both those stats together? Uh, I get eight to that currently. Uh, I need to draw seven together, so. So he's got the highest stat, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> By one! <laughs> Still only counts as one. <laughs> <laughs> What's your highest, your two stats together? Uh. First, yeah, first time in Lupus form, and you know I probably can't even yes. you know, be ready, right? Right, no, because I'm so. in the doorway in a proper ready, st ready stance. I look at you. I just had a really bad like roll. Yeah, so it's not, it's not bad. It's, it's right, just right. So the way that it works, works. <laughs> okay, is you've determined what your initiative order is, which okay. is Lucy, Lizzie, Cassus, Merlan, Talane, Talian, Talane, Talane. Then the vengeful spirit. Okay. Okay. So the way that we break it down is Lucy says what actions. Uh, yeah, Lucy says what actions she wishes to do. Okay. Then Lizzie. Then Cassis. Then Merlin. Then Tulane. Then the spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they revolve. Oh, sorry, no, I've done it. Wrong. <coughs> First of all, the spirit does its actions, and we go up, and then they resolve back. Okay. Cool. So the spirit yep. will say it's going to manifest because that's what it's going to do, and it's going to manifest inside of your hut. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Um, hi, yeah, well, okay. Right. Hi, hi, Rob, but you know, I'm guessing Simon, one or the other. <laughs> hi, Simon. Uh, uh. <laughs> hi, Simon. <laughs> it says, heads up, Simon has my Twitch account, which means that is Simon. Well, you never know. <laughs> it's fairly ambiguous. <laughs> Tulane, what is your action going to be? Okay. Um, I stopped dead for a second. If anyone's looking at me, I am now just becoming a boiling, roiling, bubbling, rage pit monster. Okay, so that's your one action yep. is to... To stop and just gather my rage. Okay. So I'm not actually doing an action because this is the first time I'm in Kvinos. <coughs> I got upset because you went off. Mm. I'm back. I'm trying to keep everyone safe. And inside our safe space is this bastard. So... Merlin. Um... Yeah, so, right, so it hasn't actually uh, manifested yet. It will yeah. manifest. That is its action. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, okay. Okay. So now you get to determine what your action will be. Oh, if to you. in the course, what's going to happen is it manifests. He's going to stand still. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. What are you yeah. doing while that's happening? Yeah. Um. I am going to. Oh shit! What am I going to do? I'm gonna you know, um, attempt to talk to it. Okay, have you got a particular gift? Uh, uh, yes, I do. Okay. I have spirit speech. Okay. Do you need a book to look that up? Then yeah. I'm sorry. Um, no, because I know it's a permanent. Th you know, it's a permanent thing. Basically, as long as a you know a spirit makes themselves known, you know, um, to me, then I, you know I can hear, understand, and communicate back with it. Okay. What in particular are you going to say to it? Uh, Why you do this? <laughs> what? Need a, um, get yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna. Get a, what? You know, what do you want? Because my heckles are up. You know, um, you know, and you're sort of defensive. Okay. So what form are you in? You know, um, lupus. Okay. Cassus. Um. So are we back at this point? You will have just about got to the point where you are back with the pack. When you feel the spiritual energy manifest inside the heart. You can tell that he stops next to you to try and determine just how long his arms are. <laughs> Merlin is going to say, what do you want? While well, looking pointedly at the spirit, your action is... I'm going to have a fucking dust down. I'm going to bite the bastard. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? So you get one <laughs> action, and your one action to is to attack. Yes. Okay, now that means you cannot dodge if it makes an attack against Fine. you. Fine. <laughs> okay. We're going to have a fucking dust down. 
Lizzie. I'm going to attempt. Okay, I'm going to take. Because <coughs> I was in the doorway looking out, I'm going to step out mm-hmm. and then shift to my uh, Krillos form. Okay, so your action is to shift. Yeah. Cool. Well, step out of the hut so I don't break it when I shift. <laughs> Lucy, you yes. know that it will manifest. Tulane will stop. Merlan will s- try and speak to the spirit. Cassus is just going to fly at it inside <laughs> of your hut and attempt to bite it. <laughs> and <laughs> Lizzie's going to move out of the way and change the Krinos form. No, the heads up would be you know, with me, Rob. The sup was Simon. I'm on my phone, Simon. <laughs> ah, okay, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> All right then. Oh well, yeah. Thank you. Hi, both but of yeah. you. Hi, We're going to have you. a schizophrenic Rob, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Simon, what you actually need to do is get your own fucking Twitch account and subscribe so you can get more viewers. Thank you very much. <laughs> what you <he> said. <coughs> um, this is the first time I've done any kind of combat in this game. Mm-hmm. I am still very confused about what's going on and how I can do actions. Okay, so... A round, which is what we're in, is three seconds. Right. You can do an action. You get one action to do whatever you wish. You can either attempt to attack in whatever form you wish to try, dodge, parry, change form, do whatever you like. But you only get one action. If you want to do more than that and say, go, I want to dodge and attack, you have to determine how you're going to do that. You have one of two options. Either you can spend a point of rage. Nope. <laughs> so what will happen is you'll get to roll both the dice pools for a dodge and an attack at the full capacity of those. But you're going to spend a point of rage, so you'll fill out a temporary rage point. Okay. Okay. Then you can roll those actions. Alternatively, you can split your dice pool, which is when you determine of the two dice pools that you can create one for a dodge and one for an attack which has the least number of dice in it then that is the number of dice you have for both actions and you will then determine that you're going to put however many of those dice into those actions so if you're if your total is six you can put one dice into dodging and five dice into attacking or two dice into dodging four dice into attacking or three and three or any combination of that right But the more you attempt to do in a round without spending points of range, rage, the harder it is because the less dice you'll get. Yeah, no, okay. I, I think pretty, pretty much, you know, at this point, you know, um, figure out what, you know, just generally what you want to do, and then we'll figure out how we actually, you know, um, yeah, do it. To. Well, <coughs> I had the very high occult roll before. Mm-hmm. When the spirit manifests, is it a physical manifestation? It is. It will physically be here and not in the umbra anymore because before it could attack you from the umbra mm-hmm. whereas none of you could get to the umbra now it's manifesting itself to do something else which is the next round when it's physically here can you physically hurt it? yep right um. okay <laughs> yeah I, I don't know I don't know what to do alright well you're trying to be the alpha at the moment yeah. So how do you want us as your pack to act? So you've got one of us is trying to attack, one of us is trying to communicate. I haven't quite decided, which is why I'm sat there bubbling over with rage. And I'm prepping to attack. One's prepping to attack. So what what do you want, since you're being the alpha at the moment, what do you want us to do? Um, I don't think speaking to it's going to help. Uh, it's vengeful, so it's going to trap some one emotion. Yep. So the best thing you could do then is to lead by example. So I, my <laughs> suggestion to you would be is to watch out the way of your fighter's charge so you can get a clear line of attack. Mm-hmm. Change yourself into war form mm-hmm. and then tell me to attack because obviously at the moment I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Right. I'm in... Your best thing to do... Bro. Yeah. Glab. I was like human wolf form. Oh, like, you're, you were in the in-between? Yeah. Okay, glad bro. That's all I still have my clothes on. <coughs> yeah. yeah, that's where I was. Yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you how no, to play no, character, no, I'm, I'm just I'm saying if, like, if I was playing the alpha that's kind of what I'd be looking to try and do. Yeah. So, defend him, back, back Yeah, you so up. if you, if you, so you're for this round, just say like, move out of the way, and shift. 
Okay. And then next round, you can think about directing us in combat rather than maybe getting in it yourself. Mm -hmm. Maybe, like you said, guard uh, Merlan, because he hasn't <coughs> changed yet. He's currently our weakest member of the pack. And let us two deal with it, or us three deal with it. And then either, if you see one of us starting to get hurt, pull us out. Or if we see that we actually need some more firepower, get him to change to um, to Crown Swarm and get him in there. Or if you feel he's not a good enough fighter, get in there yourself. Okay. So. I think as an alpha you need to kind of lead by example by changing to Kronos form but step back and actually tell the pack what you want. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm afraid not. We, you know, Great Wizard of Merlin does not have subtitles. He <laughs> does not need subtitles. He has words. <laughs> you can't type quite that quickly because this is live, not pre-recorded. Unless yeah. you're watching it on YouTube. Then, yeah, they, well, have, yeah, they have a way of automatically generating that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm not trying to take any, no, 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 take any of that on board. That's just what I'd do. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll step out of the way because I was in the archway. So flies without fear can get through and then I'll rip off my clothes to change forms. Well, I kind of want them later on. And I'm used to changing. So. Really tempt me unbutton your blouse. <laughs> <laughs> take your bra off. Just so, oh, it's a fight. What is it? <laughs> take that one <laughs> second. <laughs> 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 Am I banned from miming actions? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so now we resolve the actions. So the first action that happens is Lucy steps to one side and begins to shift. <coughs> I believe you wanted. Oh, you're going to take your clothing off first before oh, no. shifting. Um, I wanted to take off and shift. Okay, that's a lot of actions in three seconds. Okay, you're going to use a point of rage. Fair enough. Okay, you use your point of range to immediately shift what form do you want to be in. I take my clothes off and then shift. <laughs> I don't want to lose my clothes. Sorry, normally taking your clothes off and then <laughs> shifting. Rage. <coughs> yeah, what form do you want to be in? Kronos. Okay, so you immediately move to Kronos. You move to the next, which is Lizzie, who moves out of the way mm -hmm. and then shifts into Kronos. Yep. You don't need to roll. Then you have Cassus, who goes flying into your shelter at full pelt. Mm -hmm. In nine point Krinos form. Oh yeah. Yeah, through a rather narrow doorway. War machine. And attempts to bite the spirit. I'm probably more used to Krinos form than at least those two. Mm. Okay, so on so. the second sheet of your catch sheet, <coughs> it will tell you what the dice you need to roll and the difficulty. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. So I'm going yeah, so to assume share. this is Simon. It, it's hard, hard to understand him through his thick Asian accent. <laughs> <laughs> Right, to make it easier to find out who is speaking and who isn't, put an S in front of Simon and an R in front of Rob speaking. Then we'll freaking know. So yeah. Simon's a rebel, so he probably won't do that. So I have speciality points. So tens if I get any count double. One, That's a lot of dice. Two, three, four, five. I'm built for combat, jackass. Yeah. Still a lot of dice. Five successes. Okay. Fuck this guy. Well, it's not dodging, so you hit. Yeah. Right. Then your damage is strength plus one. Yeah. In, and that is uh, aggravated. Yeah. And so you add one. on all of the successes above one. So really? You add on four to your damage dice roll. Twelve. See, nope. Roll twelve dice. <laughs> See, he says no. Nope. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, you suck. Roll 12 damage dice. Yeah. Wow. Try to be useful Fucking hell. for once in your life, but no. Okay, how do I work this out? You, again, you want sevens. Sevens and above. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. I'm starting to get the feeling it's a bit five. superfluous to be asking, be asking questions. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, it's dead. One fail. <laughs> because bite is a specialty, do the tens here count double? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll take one of the eights with the one. Two, so, I four. Presume your speciality is on brawl, yeah. Yeah, by yeah, brawl. So, yeah, yeah. <coughs> two, four, six, seven, eight. Eight successes. Yeah, that's including the one and another success that it cancelled out. <coughs> it gets it soak on. Soak on aggravate. Scary. Spirit. Okay, so how many successes did you get? Eight. Dead. Okay. <laughs> so he flies into the shelter. There's a bite, there's a lot of growling, <coughs> then Tulane, you're going to stop, you're yep. going to attempt to try and work out your longer limbs and fur and everything that's going on. I'm oh, sorry, Merlan goes, what do you want at the back <laughs> of the <laughs> pack, mate? 
Uh, uh, so phone stops you know. and attempts like, to <laughs> change and work out what's going <laughs> on. And uh, yeah, the the spirit basically mm. just in your mouth feels like viscous goop, mm. like horrific. Like if you were eating the uh, the glue that kids have in primary school, no. the pieces oh. that goes in there, yeah. is that horrible gloopy kind of oh, sensation. Oh, you're one of those <laughs> glue lickers. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, the, the basic the spirit in your form as you descend <laughs> upon its neck and tear into it with your teeth, just pop, like, <laughs> like a literal <laughs> pop of almost like the sound of reality, like bubbling and absorbing. <laughs> and then this horrible gooey sensation in your mouth, and it basically there's a whole cascade of glue inside of the can and all over the sleeping bags. Oh. Ah, what's yeah? What's happening? Okay. Yeah. Um, basically, you know, we're you know we're werewolves. You know, we were going to be ectoplasm. Yes, well done. Ectoplasm. Indeed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. We, basically, we were going to be um, initiated. You know, with you know, um, is that tribe? Is the best way to put it. Or uh, set. I just you like violently. Yes. And the tribe was <laughs> mostly of windows. Ah, yeah. So we were going to yeah yeah we we're going to be initiated, and then that didn't happen. We ended up getting being kicked out lot of confusion you know we then did a bit of survival in the snow um, and now we're fighting a spirit well well fought a spirit I, I don't know if fighting is the word for it someone <laughs> nommed a spirit <laughs> a, 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 apparently flies without fear rolled a bit well <laughs> flew without fear <laughs> <laughs> yes sir. what do you want Oh. Are we considered <laughs> out of the initiative? Oh, yeah, you're yeah. considered out of the initiative. Awesome. Yeah. We can go back to narr- narration. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Check your foot. Check your foot. Um, and, oh, uh, hi, Rambo. <laughs> uh, Somebody that hasn't appeared on there. Has. No touching! <laughs> I, do I push him physically? Like, <coughs> <coughs> and then um, I, I start moving out of the, the hut either way. And then I quizzically look him over with my medicine roll. <laughs> okay. What, what? Him, I, I, I or start the like, ghost. I think he's dead. Intelligence medicine. Cool. I'm gonna start like rolling around in the snow outside, trying to get the shit off. Okay. And I'm gonna like, because it's natural for me, I'm just gonna shift into my lupus form as I do it. Like, uh, <laughs> two successes. Can you naturally change back your form? Your, your natural form. Yes. You can do that without rolling. Yeah. Can yeah. Do you no roll yeah. needed. You just go straight back. PVC That's why I don't roll from kind lupus. Of mess. Yeah. Okay. Basically, he's yeah. got like yes. tops of the More branch fruits? and More like fruits, bits yeah. of where there okay. were fur on evergreens that you've managed to have down. Just stuck to him. Go back into my lupus form. As he changes down, more of it sheds onto the ground and the snow. The snow is to be able to get stick to him as well. But otherwise, he's completely uninjured. Because I'm running on pure natural instinct now, because I've changed. I'm going to start grooming him. It's alright. Yeah, that's fine, but it's got to come off the pack, brother. Right. So I've turned to. Malan and gone. And I gruffly start More laughing. Threat. Any spirit threat check. Yeah. Danger sense. Danger <laughs> sense. Uh, you are not currently feeling endangered. To lay my in danger of dying from <laughs> laughing. <laughs> it, it was the head snap, it was danger sense. Well, it's just, it's just like in LARP. Who was it that keeps going, combat sense? <laughs> uh, well, no not, 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 well, normally Chris does uh, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, was in China, yes. Yeah, I'm there, just there, up, yeah. there are, but I think this is more of a stab at me. Okay. Oh, is it? Um, 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 I'm going to be shipping, uh, shifting into my lupus form, and rather than what he's doing grooming-wise, I'm going to have a proper motherly-type feel of grooming. Like, mm-hmm. I basically shush you out of the way and groom him properly. <laughs> well, I, start, I start mirroring your actions, but not actually doing it. Yeah. So like you can see everything you're doing, doing, I'm doing, doing but like two inches away from him to try and make sure I'm doing it right and not going to like eviscerate. So rather than like going pouring a... the viscous liquid rather than licking it. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. 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 So you had that grooming you. Yeah. I, it's probably <coughs> motherly. You know, grooming. Now it's less uh, and more. I'm gonna change ah. back into a, uh, see, uh, a naked woman. Uh, stop putting my clothes back on. <laughs> So, uh, so as have I'm people doing seen this? what my kind of thing is now? <laughs> so yeah, so I'm grooming him, I'm trying to get it through my claws, and then I'm kind of like wiping it with the pads with my with, with the other, and then every oh, now and then I get yeah. a built like a shuff bit. <laughs> I kind of use my teeth to malleate it a little bit to, like, yeah. to get about. After then, about ten minutes worth of 
personal grooming. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, well, groomed by two people. Yeah, while that is while that is happening, because obviously what, you actually just the majority of it's off, and they they're starting yeah. to like get. So I then fur. you know, I just so start like I turn getting to you, mouthfuls of like, and then turn snow, away because you're like, naked. Spitting out. back on as I'm talking. Oh yeah. Washing your mouth out. Yeah. I don't sense any more den- danger. Good. So yeah, because this is quite, it's ritualistic, it's very calming. Same whatever form is stuff. comfortable for so you. So I'm doing this, and there's a tough bit of this fur which I'm using my um, I figured just, um, you know, staying in this form for a I bit so I get more it. used to it. And then I'm like, fucking hell, it's cold! Fuck! <sighs> yeah. Or you are currently naked and your clothes are <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in the wilderness yeah. in pieces. Um, I walk inside my makeshift shelter and throw the rucksack at you. Okay, uh, you get a rucksack thrown, roughly thrown in your chest. <laughs> I look through it. Get there are two get changes me. of clothes. Yeah, I put currently one on. wearing one. Yeah, I put one on. It's good job. I'm spending my time in this form. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, but yeah, and plus, you know, in this form, you know, I'm like, I feel warmer. <laughs> one of the spare coats. <laughs> Did, what? That was a vengeful spirit. Dead. Uh, disgusting. Part Dead. Of, I carry on just kind of like doing this. Yes. Yeah. Part of cut of the world uh, means that there are. Right, we you are do that, um, and I nip at you because I'm trying to clean him. <laughs> it's a. It's a. It's a. It's we are. Uh, I mean, I think Alex would explain it better. But there is a. What's the right? What's the right word? I think the word is gone, but I don't know if that's the right word. But I'm ruining things. Yeah. What, yeah, what word was that, sorry? Uh, veil isn't the right word I want to say. B- between planes. Oh, um... Is it gauntlet? I don't think that's the right word. I forgot the word. <laughs> hmm? I am correct. It is okay. gauntlet. Oh, so it's the, the correct. gauntlet between worlds. <laughs> so, gauntlet between worlds. So, like, there are spirits beyond this one. And some are angry, like poltergeists in a more human world. So, they, the poltergeists. Yeah. Some are like ghosts, <coughs> some are like elemental spirits, like fire or tree spirits and things. Yeah. That one was a vengeful one until we stuck in one emotion. And that was a, a vengeful spirit of a pup who did not pass trials here. That vengeful spirit. Okay. Yes. Very well done. I was going to I am very attempt... impressed by your prowess as a warrior. Yeah, I was going to attempt to try and communicate <coughs> with it to see if we could find out more why it was here but seems you took care of it threat uh, I think perhaps in those kinds of yeah <laughs> I think that I hold my fist maybe, out for a fist bump like, like, it's what I do to a teammate not <laughs> I know but I um, like gnaw on your much, fist as much as we are <laughs> it's still cold we should get inside the shelter and stay warm yes even with the glute can we just turn the sleeping bags around yeah I imagine so let's just turn them around did you see me? I was massive. Like my arms are like twelve foot long. I was very impressed by your form. Form of war. Yeah, I know it was. Yeah. It is. So you yes. crawl inside the shelter and change it over and yeah. try to avoid the viscous goop that's solidifying on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> In the Insulation. Yeah. yeah. Insulation. <laughs> That's not an in-character thing. I wouldn't have a fucking clue what insulation is. Oh, oh yeah, don't worry, yeah, don't worry, Rob. It's fine. You know, I understand. <laughs> and there went Simon, wasn't it? Uh, was that Simon? I don't know. <laughs> the other people in the chat for the other me talking. I'm going to it's assume ambiguous. that's Rob. Mm. And uh, that's you, probably Rob. <coughs> Simon wouldn't apologise. You drift off to sleep. Oh yeah, even in my lupus form, I'm going to you know sort of randomly cur- you know cur- you know curl into a sleeping bag. <laughs> I know. We still have ten minutes. Yeah. Mm. And while you're sleeping, you dream. And the dream is, it my horrid is dark. Okay. There is darkness. Oh fuck, it's more. In the darkness you see a pinprick of light. And it's almost like your vision clears and gets drawn to this light and you see a fire and it's banked. It's this pure and next to this fire is an old, old garret sat in Krinos form, just staring into the fire. And he sets out a huff. And then a raven swoops down and lands next to him. Just a small raven, black feathered, cocks his head, and he goes, So, 
let's tell the story from the beginning of the pack that saw the red star. And that's where we're going to end. Dun, dun, oh, dun. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Cool. <laughs> and seriously... I saw you know, I saw the comment, but I tried not to ruin the mood. Thank you very much. <laughs> Why are you saying thanks to that? <coughs> it's a sarcastic thank you. <laughs> yes, I like the smell of your anus. Why? <laughs> just because he wanted you to say it. <sighs> oh wait, now I've just said now I've just said it, so now it's going to be taken completely out of context. <laughs> no, because he only does Tuesdays. <laughs> <sighs> yes, what a week. Yeah. Right, yeah. do your ending. Yeah, but no, that was, that was really good. That is really interesting. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So thank you very much, guys. Um, if you haven't already, please consider giving me a follow. You know, uh, we do um, do tabletop sessions every week, so we're going to be continuing with this for another four weeks, um, and then after that, we go on to another session, and then you know the five weeks, and you know, you know, you know the drill. Um, but otherwise, on Wednesday, you know, uh, me and Cassus usually, usually play something Final Fantasy related. But at the moment, we're doing a run through Final Fantasy VII. The best one. Yeah. So Cassus <coughs> doing that, um, and then you know, um, on you know, uh, normally on on Thursday this week, I'm probably not going to be on on Thursday. You know, um, but yeah, yeah, uh, we'll get to that. Yeah. So, so is this a rite of passage session? Yes. Uh, yep. Yes. <laughs> Well, it was like, here, you're going to be initiated. No, you can fuck off. Was pretty much how that went. Wasn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> so, we're still learning. But we we'll have no idea if that was meant to be a rite of passage session or not. Because we have no idea. <laughs> yeah, currently at this point, you know as much as we do. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, by Merlin. Oh, hang on. From both sides of me. <laughs> but, uh, 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 oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Ah, that, yes, that book. <laughs> so I can, I can see it from uh, here. Apparently it's the adventures of Talk Boy and the Death Machines. <laughs> <laughs> Talk Boy, you know. Evil spirit, why are you here? He's dead, you know. Oh, well. Yeah. Bob Snell, a uh, uh, yeah. sniffer. But, but yeah, talk, talk Boy and the Death Machines. Yeah. We do all the, like, killing and We know, do the fun and stuff. <laughs> then he just goes, can I talk to it? And we go, no, we're killing it. <laughs> But anyway, so thank you very much again, um, and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, bye for now. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Bye.